we have got, I'm going to say, a bit of a Fleetwood Town legend as well for the amount of goals he scored when he was there. He's on flames. Very good player. Uh, David Ball, welcome. First session, ball's come to me and I've just turned back. Vincent Company has just like come straight through me. He could run Parky. When he got going, he was a big guy and he could shift. It was probably one of the one things in one of the one things in my career where I've gone like, how was that happening? Just he, he was, you deliver would, it. You would you'd make a movement and it'd be on the end of your toe. No, no matter, matter where you were on the pitch. It, it was, was on the dinner lady's head at ask. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have coffee, man. Is it all that? They burned my tongue there. <laughs> How are we doing? I'm all right. Thanks, Pat. Good. Good. Been Nearly, uh, well, just been sat in reception for an hour. <laughs> Good start, wasn't it? Well, yeah, we've just done the podcast in there. Yeah, we've pretty much just gone right through it all. So, uh, <laughs> where was I in here? <laughs> yeah, I just waited. The woman must know me because she just let me waltz right through. Yeah, she told me to hold on, check my bags and everything, check my pockets. Yeah. No, I don't know. I just, you know, obviously, yeah. Um, Bit of confusion, but how have you been? What's All been right, mate, yeah. Big golf day the other day, wasn't it? We, we did, got robbed. We? we did get robbed. I, we come second. Yeah, Bali robbed us first. Cause yeah, he, and I didn't actually come. That didn't was one of the things. Yeah, he didn't he didn't anyone, who know, anyone knows me in football, they hate playing with me. I'm terrible, that's why. What, goal? Yeah, I just wind <laughs> everyone up, but I'm terrible. Well, on the day, I was shite, wasn't I? No, I don't think you were yeah, that Yeah, I was. I was we weren't happy. Yeah, I no. was... I'm going to say I was very good, weren't I? Yeah, you was. Very but good. Normally, you're good under pressure and you crumbled on the 17th. 16th. 16th, yeah. I was eight over. Eight over after 16 holes and then treble bogged. Off oh. 18 as well. So I was thinking, yeah, yeah. they're going to go That's mad. That's unbelievable, to be fair. I know. They're going <laughs> to go mad that. saying he's a bandit. Yeah. They got back in, mate. Healed his team. And some lads who he knows. We had 46 points. 46 no points. Way. A 45 points and... So one guy was playing off a handicap 22 and I think he shot 10 over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> liar. Yeah. What so we liar. come in on 92 points thinking we've got yeah. a chance. But I seen him in the car park. He went, how have you gone on? I went, 92, done all right. He went, 104 us. I thought, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. You get a load like that yeah, at golf though, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Seven points no, at all. No, but didn't he say something like, uh, yeah, not bad, but nowhere near us. Yeah, and I was thinking, <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, you must have got 94, no 104. Yeah. So it's just playing cheating. <laughs> anyway, they got a box of Stellas so they could sling it. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah. And we had, a, we had a good chat with um, Cleggie. Yeah. Cleggie was there, weren't he? Some big news coming out of Mac. And there's some big news coming out of Mac. So Wowzers. What's happened there? You said you sort of got an idea of it. Yeah, like, yeah, I had a bit of a crystal ball, I called it. Yeah. And it's happened. I, on the way home, I was going, nah, he won't leave there. He's just done all right for him. Next thing you know, go. Gone. That's football. Football's crazy, isn't it? Crazy game. Crazy game. And then, uh, yeah, nearly nearly missed the podcast. I know, I've heard. <laughs> had a busy morning. Finished up at Huddersfield. Drove home. Never remembered I had a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was getting lucky as well when he got home. getting lucky this afternoon. Did you? Yeah, the missus sent me a text. Oh jeez! I know. I got myself home. I forgot about you. And then, <laughs> and then it was a different kind of bowling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so yeah, to like, sorry, love. I jump back in car and turn back around and come back oh, here. Definitely. But I, I would have cancel for you. It's like, that's important. <laughs> 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 It'll definitely coming. be worth it. Definitely so, be worth it. Go on. Who have we got? We have got. I'm going to say a bit of a Fleetwood Town legend as well for the amount of goals he scored when he was there. He's on flames. Very good Fleetwood. player. Uh, David Ball, welcome. Thanks, fellas. Thanks for having me. How are you? Yeah. All right. Good to see I'm you. Good. I'm good, actually, yeah. I'm busy coming back, obviously. Yeah, what are you doing around these ends? Just uh, seeing family, friends. Just Been family. A mad... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got no friends. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's just been nice just to see uh, when, when you're a bit away as long as I've been. It was two years since I came back, so. Is that how long it's been? Yeah, two years. So. Oh, shit, is it? But it's the same. You know what I mean? It's the same. It's the same. Uh, no, it's just nice to see faces. You know, I've got a lot of good relationships through football, and just sort of go and, go and speak to the lads who've who've met, and and uh, just sort of chat to them. It's been good. It's been good. Uh, I enjoy being. I enjoy being back, and and no, it's, it's class. Yeah, because we'll like we'll we'll talk through where you are a little bit now, and then we'll go yeah, back yeah. from to to the start where it all started. So you're out at Wellington Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I didn't realise you've been out there five years as well. Yeah, it goes really quick. How old are you now? 34. 34. It's gone yeah. fast, yeah. 20, 29 when I went out there. Um, to be fair, like, never... After after the first six months of there, 
I knew that would probably be me for a long period of time. Uh, I think the club and that and everything that was going on there and the way life was and uh, we spoke about it before when we was having a chat like a lot of politics in football, there's a lot of things that go on that we that, that you know, behind the scenes and stuff like that and I was just uh, sort of uh You just had enough, hadn't you? I'd had enough, I'd had enough, yeah. I thought like there's a couple of things that went on in the, the to the last bit with uh, like Bradford Rotherham and that, and um, I was getting offers in League One and stuff at the time, and I was thinking, you know, I've played a lot of my career in that at that level, and uh, I wanted to try and challenge myself to start something new. And because uh, it's a big jump, that in it to like you, you are basically going the other side of the world. Yeah, yeah. And did, you, did did you know any lads who were playing out there at that time? So I knew I'd met Stephen Taylor in Dubai on holiday when I was with, with my missus and the he's kids. He's now and he managing. He's in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. He's Mister Dubai now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's uh, he he. I was just around the pool and like he he loves it. He loves like gut working out and all that sort of stuff. So we'd gone done some training together and he he was like uh, saying, "Why don't you come out there?" Um. But I didn't know this, but he he actually knew before that that he'd spoke to someone to say that I might be coming. Do you know what I mean? Right. So uh, Andy Todd, um, the assistant manager at Bradford under Gary Bowyer, Bowyer, he'd spoke to an agent out there and said, "Look, like try and grab this lad." Do you know what I mean? And then they put, put obviously put a contract. I nearly went to Brisbane Raw under Fowler. Right. They offered me a contract as well. So where, how does that happen though? Like yeah, they could it's... pick anyone. And they just go try and get him, and then you end up in Dubai with a lad who plays for him. Yeah, no, it was weird. It was, it was, it was weird the way it all sort of went about. Um, and just, like just to clear up, Wellington's in New Zealand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's the only uh, professional. There's a new team coming in now. Auckland just got bought a franchise. It's Bill Foley, the Bournemouth chairman. He's just bought a franchise in Auckland. Right. But other than that, it was the only professional team. So we were supported we're supported of the whole in the whole country do you know what i mean yeah. we play games in auckland as home games so it's um they're the only professional team playing in the a league right um which so an away day the nearest one is like going to portugal yeah sydney that's probably a three hour flight the yeah. furthest one three hour flight is your closest yeah, one the closest like right. yeah. and then the furthest one is an eight hour plane journey like dubai yeah yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the Perth one. Yeah, is that the is that the furthest away? Yeah, and it's five hours difference in time as well. It's you, you forget like every t every time we go to Sydney, it's a two hour time difference. So you're up at you know like say you're up at eight o'clock in the morning. Usually you'd be up at six o'clock over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so they got to yeah, you've got to well. factor all that since it's it's hard. You just have to get used to it and, and sort your own routines. Like I room with Scotty Wooten, who's a English lad. Me and him are like. He can sleep all day, you know what I mean. Yeah. Where I'm the opposite, where like I, I'll, I'll go, but he, 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 he can just have a, a nap in the afternoon. I can't nap in the no. afternoon. I hate napping in the afternoons for games. Oh, so like so we I just do chuck. Love a nap. So he's just snoring. Next he year, is absolute. Like he's one of them. You know that puts the puts a, he, He's like uh, gets his fire stick out. He puts his film on. He's like uh, right. Let's watch a film. One second in, gone. <laughs> And I watch the whole film he's put on for me. Do you know what I mean? But he, he he's great. He's a great lad. He's done fantastic. Is that uncomfortable well. when you got his arm round you? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, weird, it's weird that we Netflix only have a double bed there. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for the double bed as well. <laughs> a little weirdo. Well, no, yeah, it's uh, the, the travel is definitely something I had to like get used to. Uh, very fast. New Zealand though is meant to be like picturesque. It's oh, it's, a, it's a, honestly beautiful country. Beautiful country the people, fantastic. The club. The people at the club are fantastic. The club's grown in since definitely since I've been there. We've got like state of the art like training facility that we share with the Hurricanes and the All Blacks. Some of the All Blacks train there and stuff like that. And, and what they're like when they come past you? Uh, <laughs> double the size of me. <laughs> they pretty much yeah yeah yeah. yeah but um, they, they're just different breed, aren't they? They yeah, are they, tough men, aren't they're, they? They're, they're, ma they're they're massive. They just they're, yeah. You just look at what they do with their bodies and stuff like that. The way they. They, it's it's mad because you get to see it on a regular basis. They spend more time in the gym than you know. Like, the it's like the, the opposite for yeah, us. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't spend much time in the gym. But um, what do you mean? Well, some of us don't. But um, yeah, so seeing them every day is like it's they do a lot of the power stuff, don't they? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just different. But just crossing that, over man. the you know, like crossing over the codes and the way they work. It's just it's just an unbelievable environment to be in. Yeah, like uh, I've learned so much in the environment. And what kind of what kind of crowd are you getting? Because I I don't know anything about that kind of league. Yeah, you know, I to be fair, I didn't when I first first went. 
I did. I researched a lot actually before I made the decision. I actually like went on YouTube, watched videos, actually got games of theirs sent to me because I wanted to see how they play. See how good the players are that you're going to be playing with. Yeah, but the thing is, at that time in the A League, the overall each season was massive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the manager had just left. The new manager came in from Sydney. Um, and Sydney had been winning everything from that point on. Right. Like, Lafondra was there. Um, so we came, it, at that point then, I didn't know what we were going to be like, to be honest with you. I had to sort of look like what, speak to the manager. And to be fair, when I spoke to the man manager. Who was the manager yeah, at the time then? Tally, his name is. Right. Um, and who? He, what? Who fucked Tally? <laughs> I don't know who did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't want to say it. I was going to say Tally. I won't want to be Ali. Who fucked Tally? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we just called him Muffy. Anyway, yeah. but um, he, he, I spoke to him. And when yeah. I spoke to him on the phone, the way he wanted to play, I, I'd never, I don't think I'd ever had a manager like that in depth speak to me about how he seen me playing, the way he wanted to play football. It was just like, Really, you're gonna do that? Like, you're gonna yeah. play that way? And I looked how Sydney were playing, and they were playing top football. So I thought he could be good for me. He'd be, you know what I mean? So has he changed you? He changed my. He, just speaking to the manager in the way he wanted to do things, he actually changed. He he was the reason why I thought. Do you know what? Like, Fancy that's this. the first time I spoke to a manager in ten years. Speak in depth like that of actually how right. they're gonna do things. You know what it's like when tell you the dreams. You, you speak to yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do this and do that, and then you get into preseason and it's completely the different. Long ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I'm running channels into the corners, but it's just like he—he he, he was fantastic in the way he, he came across and stuff like that. And um, didn't he change your position as well, though? Um, no, he—he—he he, he brought me in as a like a. I've always been a bit of a foil me for another number nine. You know, like just around working around a bigger number nine. So he, his idea was he was gonna bring. He brought Gary Hooper in. He was just left. He just left Chef Wednesday at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So Hoops came in. So I knew that I was going to be playing with someone that was. Go on. Go... <laughs> no, no, just yeah, like... I just stopped tapping on the table. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, lads. Sorry, lads. Um, but yeah, he... playing piano. Yeah, yeah, I'm here like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that there? there? Um, so he came in. Yeah. Uh, so I knew he was coming in as well, which I knew he was going to have a good strike force. Me and him was up he... front. Norwich. Norwich, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Norwich yeah. scored yeah. goals, mate. One of yeah. the best finishes, honestly, yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Just passes the ball into the net, like unbelievable. So I knew he was coming in. Stevie Taylor was there, so there was two English lads. Yeah, and I knew that he was putting together. We got a Mexican lad called Uli De Villa. He he came in, so we were putting together like a pretty good side. Um, it's all like strategic out there as well. With us, with two hot, hot. <laughs> two hot. I don't even want to speak about that. Like, yeah, when I first went there and. Played my first preseason game. We played against Sydney FC, and it was like thirty-eight degrees. I, I came off at half time, and I was like, "Do you know where you like down in water that fast?" It can take blood. Yeah, <laughs> that's a different I, kind I, of heat. That yeah, going in it as yeah. well. Yeah, and I was like, "I don't, I, I don't think I can do this." Did you? Did like, you it, like, it, in, that? in my head, I was thinking, "I'm not." When you, you know, when you've played in heat, eat, you get zapped, don't you? You feel like like zapping. Yeah. And I was thinking, I'm just zapped here. I don't know what I can do. What I can actually do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and I had to fight with that a little bit. But I, as I, I felt like as I played in it and got used to it, I did get used to it. If you come back now, you'd be a mile sharper than Oh, I'd be so else. sharp. Yeah. Like, <laughs> imagine a cold night in Newport or something yeah. like that. It'd be flying. Just balling, yeah. knocking yeah. about at 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't do that but, in a um, few years. Yeah, so he, he sort of sold me that. And uh, so you go to the wife first of all, don't you? And say, do you fancy doing this? Yeah. What was her reaction? What like did did she work at the time? No, she she so so she wasn't working. We that obviously got two. We had two kids and stuff. She'd been pretty much like looking at my kids was four and uh no three and seven around that time. So she was she was still not she she was at home with a three year old yeah. really. Um, so she said she she said let's do it. Do you know what I mean? She yeah. she'd been around football. I've I, you know I've been with her since I was 17, you know what I mean? So right. she'd been around football with me from all my career. So she's seen the ups and the downs. And she was like, why don't you try something different? Why don't we just do it? So as soon as she said that, I said yes to it. Two weeks later, I was in New Zealand. You know what football is, wow. it's mental. Uh, I went out there early, set up the house and all that sort of stuff. Did they provide you with the house? Or no, was no. Was to start off with uh, a shared house? For the first, so 
for the first uh, week or so, I was in a hotel. Um, and then I went in an Airbnb for a week just until I was starting looking in areas and that. And yeah. like, again, like the club was fantastic, you know, like with the care they gave me when I first got there and, and got me sorted and found a nice house. And it was just like, literally, I remember just walking into it, looked out the window and there was the water. And I was just like, I love that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, straight away. Because um, I was just thinking coming out to that. I just wanted to be. That's pressure because your missus is coming out without seeing it. Oh, that's even, that is big pressure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And furniture, choosing furniture because be he had to get furniture. He just left Bradford. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anything would sound. And now he's like New yeah, Zealand yeah. going out of the back the and water. there's a pool and water or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like. yeah no, so, so it was just mental. I was just like, yeah, yeah. Because I thought, if I'm coming to the other side of the world, I want to see something that I'm not seeing yeah. on a day, day to ba daily basis. And, and, that, the, and the crowds are good, aren't they? You, you were saying like 15,000 fans yeah, and stuff yeah, each week, yeah. which is good. Yeah, and we just, we, we had the like the best year we've ever had in the whole of the history. Last year, we finished second in the league, two right. points off winning it. We went as close as we could. Um, and then Because uh, that's a big jump from five years ago from when you joined, into. Yeah, well, they, they just got in the top six. So over there, the t if you're getting it because there's only 12 teams if you get in the top six it's a, a decent season for you because you know what i mean because yeah. you get into the playoffs where you can play for the grand final then and we'd they'd been in it once and then before that i think over the there was what, so even if you come top you're still in the playoffs yeah yeah so it's like a system so it's like um third will play six fourth will play uh fifth in a yeah, playoff yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then one and two will miss the first week and, yeah, then so like two and then you'll go into a two legger. And then you'll go into a two legger to see who goes into the final. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, you'll go all the league. Ranking. It won't fuck off. Yeah, it's mental up there, but it... yeah, so you could you could finish top and not win the league. Yeah, that, yeah. Well, not win the grand final. That that's yeah, the biggest yeah. thing there. Ah, right. So okay. do you know what I mean? So, um, so for us, we came very close with both, and we 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 went to Melbourne Victory through nil nil in the in the away leg, which was a good result. Like they had twenty twenty four thousand there. At that game, and then we went to our home game. We filled the stadium first time ever, thirty five thousand. So unbelievable, Do you know, from where like five years ago when I first came, um, we've been in, we we managed to get in the top six four out of the five seasons, and and we've created ever since I've been there, we've created every bit of club's history that's been available. You know, like in, so like it's been a, for me, it's been it's been a great class. adventure, hasn't it? Oh, unbelievable! And you, yeah, and you're up there with the most. Appearances now, aren't you? Well, I've got in a, I, sn I snuck into the top 10 of all time appearances, yeah, which is obviously it's a how many is that? Uh, I think it's about I'm about 124, but we only play uh 25 reg 26 27 regular game season, right? A season, so it's pretty hard to, yeah. to get yeah. to that. So, and I suppose that's easier because you're getting to, towards like the latter part of, of your career you're not playing 40 or yeah. 50 games a season no well i've so, only i've only missed i think it worked out i've only missed four games in five years you know what i mean it's some wow. go, it's some going yeah you know what, you know, I, I suppose you have time yeah. to recover because no saturday tuesdays well, no. no saturday tuesday when no. you're flying flipping yeah true. five thousand miles are yeah. you no and you just you know sometimes in england you on a Tuesday and like you play you're always playing with an eagle yeah uh, you know what I mean so there you got a chance to look after yourself and get ready for the next week and it's how many fans do you take away what <laughs> how many fans like did it not just, 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 a, oh, just a three stewardesses that were serving <laughs> <the team>. yeah <laughs> going out with some of the lads but imagine that like people over here normally you get pissed off when they travel two oh, hours yeah. and get beat it's so, an eight hour flight so over there like you hope that yeah, you yeah. hope that some of the, the Kiwis Live in Brisbane, live in Melbourne, live in Sydney, and which we get good. Yeah, yeah, and we and we get a lot of key, Kiwis in in Australia, so we get more so the fans that are living there. Ah, right. Do you okay, get what I mean? Yeah. It's not really you don't really we don't really because, get travelling because fans. you're the only team really from New Zealand. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. Right, okay, I get that. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, you ask that. You ask that one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one. No one thinks about that though, because you, most of the time in the, in the normal season you don't get we don't get many away fans, so it's a proper away game. Yeah. Isn't it? You know what I mean. Who asked that question, Reese? Mm. Oh, nice good question. Yeah. Reese has contributed to something to this podcast. <laughs> it's about time. Okay, but yeah, nice. he took over from shit tash, shit beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's, yeah, top. It's been a top experience. Good. I knew. How long left have you got? I've got a year contract. left on my contract. Right. Um. So I'll just, you know, get back in, stay stay fit. You know, I think I've still got a couple more years after that. 
Maybe. So who's dropped you down to the eight roll then? No, no, it's just a, like I've always been. Uh, You've always dropped in a pocket. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You've so it's off. been natural for me. Like I said, when I've played as a number, like I've never been a, a out an, out. an out and out nine. I've always been a nine slash ten that comes down, plays in the pockets. So I've always said my best position is in that in in, in that in that pocket really for sort of nine. Uh, so the first two two three years I, pl I played up front. Majority was a nine with hoops. Uh, Tom Ahmed, do you remember Tom Ahmed? No. He was at Charlton, Brighton. Right. Uh, played in, he was in the Prem for Brighton. He came over for a year, stint, did a year with him up for, up top. Um, so I always had that sort of foil, you know what I mean? He was, yeah. They were the ones that would score more goals than me. Well, I got a lot of assists. I think I'm over there now, second in all-time assists there for the club, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, I've always had that like... Uh, been that player that's just just always played in that creative sort of role and then and then the managers over there the way we play over there is about pockets and pulling people out you know like putting the ball in behind then or playing the pocket if you're finding the pockets yeah and then um, i've just been adaptable i reckon over the, the past four or five years to to drop down in the right drop down in the left play in the pocket play as a six you know what i mean and then this do, year do you, do you feel like that that came from your grounding at Man City where, where you started. Yeah, 100%, yeah. Some team, that one. Yeah, unbelievable. I, I think, like, from them early stages as well, I played, you got to play everywhere the way they did things that day. Yeah. You played in different positions and you learnt the roles. You had to learn roles there. That was one of the things, and I think that's... Is that what, what, is that what they purposely did? Yeah, they used to just purposely put you in different roles, you know, from 10, 11, 12. You'd be playing one game, you'd be playing up front, and you'd be playing... Right, you could play right back. Sure, you, you know played I mean? on the wing against us. Who were you playing yeah. for? Bolton. Yeah, but, probably did. You know, like you used to yeah. hammer us. Yeah, we were a good team. Hammer we us. were just our our group was really blessed with a lot of talent. And why do you, why do you think they did that? Is that so? Say, for example, a midfielder, he'll get to go and play as a right back, so he learns how. When he's playing mid midfield, how to show for the right back yeah. to receive the ball, even just receiving a pass or whatever, yeah. you know, like um, step like it's it's all sm every, everything in the game, small details yeah. within your own role in it. So I yeah, I suppose if you learn where you would like that yeah. midfielder to move to receive that pass when you yeah. go back into midfield, you, yeah. you learn that role, don't you? Yeah. So I think for me, it's uh, that'll hopefully give me more longevity as well. You know what I yeah. mean. Being and able how, to be adaptable. How, how many years we 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 were there for? Because you won everything, didn't you? That yeah, Man City yeah. Well, I was there from seven till twenty one. So right, it was a long. Who were the players coming through at the same time as you? Um, so like Trippier, uh, Ben Me. He did very well. Trips. Well, both of them. No, sure. Ben Me, I didn't think he'd get to where. No, he no. Did. Well, well, Ben Ben Me, for instance, was when I played with Ben throughout my because Ben started at seven with me, so Trips a year younger than me. So, but Trips always played up a level. Um, and was he good at that age? Could you tell? Who Trip? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was different level. Yeah, because you went to school with him, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he was Did you, yeah, unreal. He yeah. said he was unreal. Yeah. He said yeah. he tells a story where in the schoolyard, he'd just like whiz a ball down, and yeah. the teacher would be forty yards away, and he'd say, "Right, yeah. I'll knock his cap off." And just <laughs> yeah, ping the ball. That was his. That was his skill that he had. Like, like I, I probably scoring all my goals in the youth teams. All from majority of them. You look at like Os, uh, Charlie Austin and Danny Ings and people like that. The way they scored goals, sixty percent of their goals was came from one person. It was him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just he, he was, you deliver. Would, you would you make a movement and it'd be on the end of your toe. No, no matter where you were on the pitch, it, well, it was, was on the dinner lady's head. Ask. That's a bad story. Yeah. <laughs> Burn the deck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he was so good at it, weren't he? Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. But, so he went. City didn't let him play for school. Yeah, but our teacher was like, "No, he's playing. He's playing. We'll pick him up from his house." Yeah. So they used to tell the headmaster that he weren't playing. Drive to his house. He'd just be stood there in summer suit with his boots. Well, yeah. <laughs> he was a nightmare because when when I got my car at seventeen, he used to get the met, the the met to best of the barn. Yeah. And I had to used to pick him up and every every day take a train and take him back every day because he never started. I don't think he passed his test. Though. He was like twenty two, so twenty three or something like that. Why is that? He just, he just, he was just like so laid back. He was just so laid back. Yeah, he just. He, he, so he had, she had trips. Ben me, Ben me. Yeah, going back to Ben me, he was like you said, like he, he played left wing. Ben me, right on the youth team. And then he was, you know, he wasn't the quickest Ben, but he was quite intelligent. Then he went back to left back, 
and then went to centre half, and then he 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 was he was always for me, you know, one of them solid seven out of, seven Eddie. out of yeah. eight out of tens in the youth team for us. Like, and as you played with him for 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 that long period of time, you just was like, wow, he's un like fantastic, like unbelievable. You know what I mean? And so like he's a great kid, a great lad as well. Like. Yeah, we was reading some more names, and it was they played against Philiskirk in the. Youth Cup final. That's yeah. who we had on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And you was in the team that beat him. But yeah, he yeah. was saying like you was a joke. Yeah, we had yeah Vladimir Vice, winger. One we of couldn't the... remember where he ended up. I think he went. He went like I think he went Bolton Rangers. Then guitar. I think he went out into yeah, guitar. But, off. Uh, Robbie Mack, who's at Sydney FC now. Is Slovakia and he was in the team. He came. Yeah, Marshy didn't you? Who we've had. No, on. Marshy was a year that yeah, that year was too old. So the year that. I played the year before with Marshy and I didn't play because uh, Sturridge would always come back down to to <laughs> play because Sturridge was with the first team at 16, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they what obviously Ball, one, just one, one, day, <laughs> one just, then he dropped him back in for the youth cup. Yeah, so so like obviously you have that 16 to 18 is yeah. like one team all together. So obviously he he dropped down because he was always in the age and then Ched was I was playing week in, week out with Ched Evans up front in the youth team. And uh, we... Chad at City as well. Yeah, Chad yeah. was at City. So, yeah. like the the more podcasts we do, and you speak to the players who go on and have good yeah careers, the amount of people who come through the Man City Academy yeah. is unreal. Around that time, in those two or three age groups, one below me and probably one above me, was ridiculous. Like my lads that actually had careers, yeah, was uh, like was. And what, like, why do you think that was? Like, was it? I think that. Was the coaching any different? Was the coaches like... was very good. We had uh stick with Steve Ayres, Alex Gibson. Um they were good good coaches, but they just It the, was very the, professional the, like, the when discipline. You turned, yeah. When you turned up, like their team would be like you could tell the focus they, was, yeah. was on every time. It was like a was bunch it? of kids. Yeah, you were never different off. mindset. You couldn't be off, yeah. You just couldn't be off. Like they they just ploughed that into us just about discipline, focus and 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 you were just always there to just do the job, and we we got the, the thing is you know we we had a good group, we got on really well as well, so yeah. like, you know like that does help. Did you did did you ever mix with the first team lads? Um, a few times because back then it was reserves. The reserves was, um, you know, players that didn't play on the on the Saturday for the first yeah. team. Yeah. So we managed to you know play a lot of reserves at sixteen and stuff. I was still I laugh when I played against Paul Dickoff because I played in the reserves. I played I, when when I played against Paul Dickoff. I played in the reses up front with him when I was like dead young. You know what I mean? At sixteen. Yeah. Um, it was uh, it was crazy that. Where did you play in? What? Where do what? Did you play for him? No, or? I played. I played. You know, when I play against him uh, yeah. in teams. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I played up front with him in a game once. You know, when I was like sixteen. Do you remember that? No, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, it does. No, it did. Yeah, yeah, it did. Remember? Yeah, yeah, because he just was shouting at me the whole time. <laughs> but um, he was he, he was great. But yeah, I got to play with like loads of first team was from sixteen, which was another great thing I think in the reserves. You know, like being everyone able to, says that. Yeah, being able to still learn from those lads who dropped down and and played in those games. Was, who was the first team manager when when you first went in? Like um, like kind of getting to that that age where you were around Sven, the first team. Sven, Sven Gordon, he Sven. took me after the youth cup. After we won the youth cup, he took like. There was three or four of us that like Ben Me, Trips, Vladimir. Um, I think Andrew took went and me. We well went to Thailand because it was taxing Sino Archer at the time. He was yeah. the he was the chairman, and we went in at the end of the season. That was my first trip with the first team to Thailand. To Thailand, oh. I, yeah. Where yeah. about? Um, it was Bangkok and uh, Hong Kong. So it was it was an unbelievable trip. We used to, we had to have bodyguards with us and everything because he was going through a bit of things off away from football. He was Sven. No, we're not Sven. Not Sven. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell you that. Can't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Times weren't bothered about Sven. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was going for a recur at that time. Oh yeah, god, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, we we went there, which was a great experience. And that was my first real taste of being. being so who was in the first team? Have you got like his company there by then? No, no, nah, be like no. right, Phillips and no, it wasn't. It was like a what was it actually? Like Petrov, oh uh, yeah, um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. All, all, it was all them. It was all them sort of players, players at that, that sort of time. Yeah, 
I'm trying to think who else was in that in that in that. Done. Uh, no. How hard is it to Rick, think that? Oh, so hard. Do you know my name is like that? <laughs> but because because I was like a bit of Discount. a flash, and then there was so much change through that like three year yeah. period of players, yeah, and yeah, you're thinking, true. you know what I mean? But um, there must have been one that you thought, wow, I'm playing with him. Or I'm training Rabin, with him. No, Rabinho. Yeah, that? I played with Rabinho. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they they came the next year, but that. That's when all the money started yeah, yeah. filtering so in. So it? then obviously that that went that swapped over then um and Mark Hughes came in. When uh, them lads start coming in, surely as a young player you're thinking, oh, I have no chance here. Ments like yeah, mentally it was tough because but you you were just so focused on like I'm I'm making it, you know what I mean? I'm done, gonna just give everything I can. You didn't you tried not to even think about it because if you, you know what I mean. Yeah. But when you look back at it now, like I remember when like at that time with Mark Hughes, you got Rubinho, you got Tevez even coming in, people Tevez, like that. I, I was yeah, um, Adebayo was there, you know Gareth, you got Gareth Barry's, all that sort of stuff. You coming in at the time and you're thinking, wow, I've got to get get into this team. These like proper These serious, these are serious players. You yeah. know what I mean? But you learned a lot from them. Company came in, company was great. Bellamy, Bellamy was great as well. With, with like the younger lads. So was it your See, idea never... to go on loan or not? Or did they say, this is what you're doing for no, your no. development? So under Mark, like that year in the reses in the, uh, I was scoring it. I was like top goal scorer for a couple of years in the reses, like a few out the league, two years. Mark Hughes took a real liking to me. He was, he, he was like brought me into the first team set up every day training. Um, so I that must have been class. Oh, it, with was them unbe lads. it was unbelievable. I was just trying to be a sponge, really. But like, did 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 you see a notable change in pace? Everything was just done a yard faster. Was it? Like, everything was thinking a yard faster. I remember first session, balls come to me, and I've just turned blind. Yeah, Bang. Vincent Company has just like come straight through me. Yeah. And just I empty, I've winded and everything. Yeah, nailed you. Yeah, Can't but, like, show it. the ball's gone past him, so it's probably a foul. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he just nailed me, winded me. I felt like I felt like my rib cage was broke. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mark is just like, get up, son. It's not even a yellow. You know, like, you know, <laughs> like that. yeah, yeah. And I was like, it was like, welcome to first team football. You know, like, oh, yeah. I was just like, oh, get up. You just get up and go. You know what I mean? At least you done him though. Yeah, I think I did him. Yeah. Yeah, I was on the other side of it. I would have got the other side. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so Mark Hughes took like it. He was he'd stay out, do finishing practice with me, and and like you know, Mark Hughes, what a, what a player. You know what yeah. I mean? So did he so, join in as well? He, just in a few little things, just 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 had pure class. So I was doing finishing sessions with Rubinio and Tevez, you know, like at the end yeah. of sessions, and it's like wow. Um, so got on the bench a couple of times, Europa League, and then against Man United in the derby when Owen scored. Yeah, oh, no, was yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I was in the pub Almost watching that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Cost me a bit of a, a draw bonus, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, yeah. point bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but no, I was. It was a funny one because my dad's a United fan, so like that was the first time I got on the bench yeah. was, was against United, and what, was he, he buzzing United he, as well? He was buzzing United when we met them, but my like, buzzing I was there. Do you know what I mean? Did you Did you ever think you was gonna get on? There was was one, anything said to you? There was one moment. There was one moment. Um, it's weird, like obviously Sliding in my moments. yeah in my in my world, I'm thinking about the small moment. You know what I mean? Like because te Tevez was struggling a little bit, and he was like, "Get ready!" Like, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, right, well, yeah. And then if you watch back, Tevez gave the gave the ball away for on the halfway line, and you think it, you know, like, and he's tired, and then he's gone to gigs, and then gigs has played the ball in, and it's thingy. But it's just like you're thinking, I'm so close. Yeah. You are you are so just, close. So you're thinking. Like maybe if you came on for Tevez before, just a bit then, of energy. You, you might, yeah. You, I'm thinking he that now to as give an older that ball lad. Away. Yeah. yeah, he wants to give that ball away, and they might not score that I'm, ball. Yeah, but I'm thinking that as an older lad who's been around. You know what I mean? And yeah, but you might come on, thing. give it away, and, be like, and then, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then been done anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I left. Or you could have come on and scored the winner. You just don't know, do you? No. Who, 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 who knows? Pitch, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so then that sort of. So you're so close to coming on there. So close. Um, and then you go to Swindon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 it's like something must have happened. Yeah, it was. Um, so after that, I was on a bench for the Europa League game, and um, didn't get on in that game. But uh, uh, the day after, obviously the subs and that would come in train. So I trained, and then uh, 
in training, I've chops of talking, but Paul Mar Marshy, he's just come in for a tackle, and I've like he's caught me, caught me metatarsal, broke my metatarsal. Do you know like Marshy, Marshy, Marshy yeah, yeah, yeah. What I know. <laughs> so anyway, so he's he's come in, he's done, he's tackle, and I'm thinking, oh no, you know, and you know, you know, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking, right, and then there was all all little bit talks about possibly Hughes Hughes going and stuff like that. Because at that time they were talking about like contract, new contracts, and and going on loan to I think it was Cardiff or Chef Chef U. Is that in the championship? Yeah, they were flying in the championship at the time. So so Mark, Mark Hughes was talking about talking, a new deal. He, and new I'm contract talking to the, and... talking to the, the two managers at them two clubs to say take him. I want him to go out because he wanted me to go out and come back for the for the pre season. Yeah, and then Hughes obviously didn't end up. And then we like I think it was like a couple of weeks later, he's he gets he's gone. And Mancini comes in, so it, 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 just from that point, it was just like, and then I was hurrying back up then in me rehab to try and get back into to stay in, in and around the first team, and uh, went back into rehab two weeks in. Me bone and heel did it again straight away in in the rehab, you know, like just turning, just oh, went back nah. to square one. So we ended up, so we ended up like being out for six months. And then, and then by six months, a long time in football, especially at that level, and mm. the money that was coming in, they were signing Balotelli and people like that. Same, uh, same age as me. And especially when the manager who likes you has gone. Yeah. And you've got a new manager who's not seen you kick well, a ball for Well, he's months. a foreign manager. He's not going to know me, you know no. what I mean? So, no, but I'm saying, like, yeah. he doesn't even get to see you <laughs> yeah, kick exactly. a ball in training. Yeah, so I'm, but I was rushing back thinking he needs to see me now. Yeah. You know what I mean? In my own head. And it probably cost, cost me another three months by rushing back. Um, and then... When I did get back in at, to the end of the last part of the season, I was I was just I was he was sending me to cross balls for the goalkeeping coach, so I was just gone. I knew I was done then. I, like That's I just a nightmare. Isn't that? I just when you get imagine, picked. Imagine that. being so close yeah. though, to coming on against Man United, and then a little turn of fate, yeah. you get injured. Yeah, your contract's but, off the table. Gaffer gets sacked. And you're warming the keeper. You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was. He was like, you, you, you go over there for the for the with the goalkeeper coach, and I'm like. Okay, and yeah. What was Mancini like? Did he? Oh, he was speak very. Yeah, he, he wouldn't. You know, if you walked past him in the corridor, he didn't speak to anyone. I think a lot of people. I think I've listened to a few. You know, that's the, so the, weird. The, though, the top players, you know, like say, you know, he snubbed them and that sort of stuff. He just wouldn't let on to you or anything like that. Would he not? We just call you you. You know what I mean? <sighs> they didn't even know your names. No, no. But then he, you know, a few of the foreign lads who were coming, they brought a few foreign lads in at the time, sit around the same age as us. Um, so like, a lot of the English contingent contingency at that time like the Ben Mees and Trippiers and that they stayed around but they never really do you know what I mean did yeah. you did you spend much time with Balotelli uh, was he wild when he came in or yeah he was a bit he was yeah a little bit yeah but I I just got that crossover stage because I went back right and I actually then got them up that got back down to the reserve changing room at the time so there's two changing rooms, but you didn't. I didn't really get too much thingy with him then, because you obviously back with the reserves. You know what I mean? Because he was such a talent, but yeah, but was fucking, fucking, yeah, mental, weren't he? Un unbelievable um, player, unbelievable player. Like could do things that he, not a lot of people could do. You know what I mean? Some of the stuff you've seen. He never he just looked never bothered. Looked, he was just bothered. <laughs> yeah, I want to say he never looked. Like he never ran about second gear. He never ran about. No, he didn't, you know what I mean? So um, I never seen him sweat. No, he's mad, isn't he? Yeah. And then you got but... Tevez, who was like running around for everything. You know what yeah. I mean? He was he was one of the players that I looked at and gone like he was top top player, right? Really. Serious player, yeah. Yeah. He he, he work was... ethic was unbelievable. Yeah, he could do everything, work yeah. hard, and then do everything with the ball. So did they come to you and say, "Listen, you need to go on loan," or did you say, "I need to get out of here now"? It was sort of like coming to that point of I knew I needed to do something different. I've not played for six months, so from a championship sort of loan it was like no one had seen me do you know what i mean so it yeah. was like league one at that time so i went to i went to swindon i went to swindon alone um who obviously the year before got to the playoff final to go up to the championship so they had a good squad um and they had charlie austin striker uh matt ritchie uh, david prutton who's does the sky and everything yeah. Prutz. um Dabs was there um, the right. year before. No, he left. Sorry, Dabs. I played with Dabs at Rochdale. But um, Charlie Austin, awesome, good player. Yeah. We had Caddis, Cy Ferry. Um, 
Sean Morrison, who's had a good career, championship yeah. player, yeah. centre half. We had a serious team like there, Jonathan Douglas. I remember him, Dougie, he was top midfielder. Um, so you went into that as like a young lad, straight yeah, yeah. into the first he's just trying to, So is that your first? That was my first professional long. games? Yeah, first professional game, yeah. Um, played at home against Brighton. So I went in there, did really well in like pre season and that. And then um, I think I don't mind, just Danny, what's his name? Danny. Anyway, the manager at the time, he was like, look, I'm going to play your left wing, keep you out of it. Because it was only a slight lad, you know what I mean? So he was like, I'm going to keep you out of the, like the physical side of the aspect of the game. Like we'll try and bring you inverted left on the left. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Just to just to try and get the ball to your feet and let you go and do things. You know what I mean? And um, that was, it was, it was, it was, it was a tough like reality because you just want getting the ball in the areas. You usually used to getting balls. I played as a number nine slash t- 10 coming off the line as a, you know, yeah. all my career. And then I was out on the left wing for the first time ever, really. You know, like in a game. Well, was it difficult coming out of that environment where at City you're probably eighty nine percent possession? Yeah, you're going into a yeah, Swindon true. team. I've got, where I've got, uh, yeah. At the time, you know, you're uh, fighting for everything, aren't I've got you? Kieran Chippy are putting things on me on the end of me thing, and then it changes quite quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, any run you made, they'd see it. You know what I mean? Everything was a little bit sharper, a little bit less. You know what or I mean? Was, it was Flora Swindon. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of like. Everything was a little bit less. You, you know, you make a run that someone might not see. You yeah. know, it was the small things, and I was getting like, whoa, whoa you know. Like, but I had to grow. I had to. It was great for me, you know. Yeah. Like, um, and then I finally found my rhythm. Got a few goals there from from out wide, and uh, scored a couple of goals against Peterborough. Hence why they ended up signing me. But um, how was the manager in the in the dressing room? Because you probably up to that stage, you're used to 18s, 21s coaches being quite nicey nicey. I'm guessing. Yeah, well, it was. It, it became very. It became very serious to me. Very like reality, and like you're lads, like, well, lads are playing yeah. for the mortgages. They're playing for the next contract. You yeah. know, they see. You know, potentially at the time I come as a loan, they're expecting a lot from me as a young lad coming in as well to help them as well. So there was some great. I, I learned a lot. A lot in that six months, just being around all the players. Was, what in the dressing room yeah, or on just, the pitch? Yeah, there was like just that. great characters. You know, like proper characters. Like Prox was a proper character. Um, Did they take you out? Uh, yeah, I was. I, I never. Do you know what? I never touched the alcohol until I went there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, I didn't. No, I was. I was. Didn't never touch alcohol. No, it was like machines at City. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah you, you were like. You know what it was like? Have you watched Dodgeball? <laughs> when we played them at Bolton. We what was it like, called? Techno Gym. We were walking yeah, yeah. in like average Joe's yeah. to like Globo Gym. And Glo- we were all like yeah. massive. Yeah, yeah. And we were just like little... And we nuggets. were just machines. We could run. We were fit. Yeah. We were, you know, like... How so, did that come about then? Like, when was the first time? I room with Michael Rose. I don't know if you remember Michael Rose. Rosie, uh, left back. Played Stockport. Um, recognise his name you'll, you'll, there's a few roles he's always yeah, yeah yeah so anyway um, he was a mank lad so I room with him he was about 20 I think he was about 28 at the time and then um, that's prime drinking age yeah we have that Cy Ferry Cy Ferry loved to drink yeah. you know what I mean and a um, few of the older lads t- um, Tim Lynn as well Tim's he loved it he, he was actually is that a big eye opener for you then of, of how the, the levels are different from Man City to yeah, because you're not gonna you're not gonna get that when I, you know when I was at City and because I was you're not like, gonna get company rolling so, down. No, no, <laughs> I go to I go to some like, of the Christmas do's and I went to someone and you know like when I was on the first team they invite me out and that but I didn't drink so I was just a I was like the bartender pretty much I was just the guy go yeah, get, ball, go get me a go get me a drink go get me a drink go get yeah, me a, yeah. you know what I mean I was just that at that time but this was like an eye opener to go like wow you know like. It, it, you sort of have to join in a bit though, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I, you know did what? you feel under pressure joining or did you... Or did you... Slightly, it's a bit of both. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There was that side of me that was like telling me like, you know, no, you, you, you've you been like that. And But I also thought like some of these lads have had amazing careers, you know, especially some and they've done it. You know what I mean? And so it's all right for me. <laughs> so I'll try it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and then, uh, yeah, I was never, I was always just a... Just a few drinks. Yeah, it never. Yeah, it wasn't like a weekly thing for me. It was more like an occasional thing. Yeah, I just drank occasionally, um, until I probably got a bit older. Where it, you know, like, went that way. You just, you, you just, yeah. It's always been about occasions for me. Yeah, you know, birthday, 
someone out. <laughs> you sort of have to do it though, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you but... see some of the lads now at Radcliffe where it's like, we're having a pint after trading and some yeah. of them are like, I shouldn't, but go yeah. on then. Yeah, 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 yeah well, like... you just know, you, you, yeah. So for me, it's more like, I just pick occasions. So like team dues, birthdays, you know what I mean? Yeah. You have to give it that one when he misses, you know, like the manager's told you. Yeah, she'll you laugh at it, she'll laugh and she hears it, yeah. But yeah. she always goes, No, he's not, you know what I mean? But <laughs> you know that one. Um so yeah, I felt like um then I I'd learned I just learned how to become a, a real professional at that time in terms of <laughs> just change the shape there, just reach back, right? <laughs> yeah. Um become a real professional, you know what I mean? Um, in terms of what it took down in those leagues, yeah. Um, so and did like did did you did you have to change your your style of play? Yeah, massively. Yeah, I just had to pick and pick and choose when I did things, like not giving the ball away. You mean like like trying stuff where where yeah. you might give yeah. the ball away in the wrong yeah a little a little bit like that, and then wait for the area that I could do my work in. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because <clears throat> I quickly found that like. Fans, you've just got to be more reliable, haven't you? You've yeah. got to be trustworthy. You, to, you know, the around ball. the halfway line, it was become reliable. Yeah, do you know what I mean. You've got to take do a the hit right as well, aren't you? Yeah, you've got to know take when a hit. to be like, like yeah. you know, like I just learned a lot, a lot from that period of time. Then when it, you know, got into the into into around the box, it was like right, do whatever you need to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but, it this happens a lot, but like you said, you scored twice against Peterborough. Yeah, and they've ended up taking you on. Yeah, pretty much. The way it came around was I. So Swindon were doing okay at the time, like not good. Well, what, what I can't it? remember the manager, Danny. What's he called? Danny. Oh, what? you're gonna Kadama, Kadamitri or something. No, 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 no. no. I can't. Is he? He's, he's, he's Danny managed. Johnson. No, no. Danny Cowley. Oh god. What Danny's? I'll, I'll, I'll so, think of yeah, it. Yeah, I'll yeah. Have you got it on there? Have you got it on the on the wiki there. Danny. Right, the... Danny Wilson. That was it. Yeah, Danny Wilson. Um, so uh, we decided at the time. It was dead funny actually because Danny really rated me. He was like, "Right, remember the conversation, clear as day." Like, and he said to me, "Uh, like, what I'm gonna do? I want to sign you, you know, permanently." So, right, like, okay. So he he said like, "But what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell City you've done okay, you know, like, and we'll put a bid in for him, and you know what I mean? Yeah, to knock it down, to knock it down, play it. yeah, yeah." So I was like, "What?" So, I, so I was like. Young lad, I was like, no, well, I don't want When you're a young lad, you're like, that's bollocks. I, was like, I want you to go back to City and say, yeah, how amazing yeah, I've done. Yeah, 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 you need to, yeah, yeah. You would need to do the opposite for me, really. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so I went back, because um, I was like, I'm going back. You know, I want to go, I would like to go somewhere that plays me in my position more prominently. Um, So I went back, went back in, back in the reserves, training with them and then I was getting offers and stuff like that to go to a few different clubs and um, Darren Ferguson who ended up signing me at uh, Peterborough he was at Preston so there was talk of me potentially going Preston um, and then um, he then got the sack from Preston and went to Peterborough and then he put they, they came in for me at uh, Peterborough so obviously right. he, 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 like he obviously knew about like, Manchester connections and stuff like that um so yeah it was pretty much um and was you, like was you happy to make that oh it was decision a, it to, was to so leave tough. or not it, it was it was so tough because because when you leave you leave yeah you know what i mean yeah, and i'd know. been there for you're not going back are you been there for 13 40 not unless you go and score 30 goals a season somewhere you know like and you're yeah. on fire all the time um so i knew i was gonna i knew i was gonna leave and uh i sort of as at the time, Vincent Company came to me as well and and said to me, uh, "Would you want to go over to Genk? I've spoke to the manager and I rate you. You know, like I think you've done well when you've been in training. Like I think you'd go well out there." And he came and did that off his own back. Off his own back, yeah, yeah. Set everything sort of up for me to go. So random though, isn't it? Genk. All yeah, right. but but Such if you look at them, they play champions. Well. They've played Champions yeah, League, yeah, and, had, that, and I didn't. They had links for Man City, though, didn't yeah, they? Had, didn't yeah, they? yeah, I think through Vincent Vincent Company yeah, anyway, because yeah. he was. The thing with Vincent Company, it was like, he was always one of them. I just remember him. He'd always be asking how you are or what you need. You know, like he, he took away the fact he was a superstar. Yeah. He was just a person, you know what I mean? Could you and, tell he was going to go into management? Yeah, definitely. Just the way he was, the way he conducted himself around the place. He, I reckon he's a huge part of that change in that football club. 
just as him as his, yeah. as a person. And the way he was able to just like bring everyone in together, he had that special. He was a proper captain, weren't he? Yeah, he just had that special sort of. Um, you think he got to buy it? Hey, I don't know. It is uh, no, no, no. I don't think no one thinks them things, did he? Has anyone ever been relegated with Burnley and gone to buy a Munich? Just mm. but the, like I know we spoke about. It, I think he'll do really well because yeah. the way that he plays and the mentality that he has, like he. I, I quite, I, I think I've said it before, I quite like the fact that he didn't change the way that he played. Yeah. Know, apparently. Well, that's probably he why they took by him his long. guns. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you get our good players. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you that was, yeah. yeah. One, one of the, yeah. Our manager at Wellington, the first five games, we didn't win a game in the first five games when I first went there. But you were thinking, shit. Yeah, but we're playing so well. You know what I mean? I think, I think that's the and thing. The man, As a player, if you can see that the system's working, yeah. but you're just not winning. It's going to eventually come round. And the manager it? stuck with it. And we we finished third that season. You know yeah. what I mean? He stuck with it. But that was the first time I'd seen a manager really stick with it. You know, like, yeah. Normally it's like, it, right, yeah. get the big lads back yeah. in. Yeah. And that well, happened well, a lot for well, me throughout well, my career. Long, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? But, yeah, over the course of it, yeah. Um, so so I suppose at that time, did, did, you, know, did you know much about Genk? Nothing. With, nothing. It was just like, but I, you know, like, you're thinking, that, you know, as a English lad, Stay here. You gotta stay. You gotta yeah. work your way back. You gotta do the. You know what I mean. You, you didn't think of going out there could be an option of coming back. Mm. You thought you'd gone. Yeah. For you'd gone out there. That you, can happen. You'll never though. see you, and can it can. Yeah, and yeah. you've seen it done. Yeah, yeah. From you, I think things have changed a lot now, though. Yeah. Yeah, With... because they, they they think of that as a good thing. Now. Yeah. European football now is a lot closer. Yeah. Than it than it's ever been. Yeah. It used to be like you you would go to Belgium or Spain yeah. or Italy and stuff like that, and yeah. You can't, you're kind of in this English bubble, whereas yeah. now you'll see how many loans yeah. and transfers from the European yeah, market. I yeah, I think it's a brilliant thing for for lads yeah. to do now. If you had your time again, would you? I, I would. I would have done it, but yeah. at the time as well, my, my my missus was pregnant with my first child at the time as well, so I'd had all this in just in that January window. Um, so I was thinking, oh, I don't. I'm 21. I'm a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Still, like, and I've, and I've got a kid on the way. Like a kind How was that? Of, that was it. Was it was was that tough? Bizarre, yeah. It was bizarre. Yeah, was young to have a kid, isn't really it? young, yeah, yeah. But it seems like it's not it, in football. It doesn't seem young because you no. see a lot of young young dads and stuff. And I think that because obviously at that time you you you're getting paid okay, you can look after you. Yeah. After you, the you, if you're gonna have one, you can do it. You know what it I mean? Was, it's, who I'm sure we had somebody on the podcast before where the manager was encouraging them. To get a girlfriend, have a yeah, baby. I, have loads, I know loads of them. Loads of them managers. Yeah, Someone that's asks, what you need. What it, do you have a missus? Yeah, and yeah. yeah before like, he signed, I him, think yeah. that's the criteria now. Yeah, do you have a missus? Lots if you do, out all the time. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah. as well, I think like if if you have a kid, you have that added responsibility to stay, to in, work, and look out, look, yeah. yeah, do well for him, work yeah. hard for him. So it was a good. I look, it was a fantastic thing. Now looking back, you yeah, know, yeah. it was great for me. But at that time in decision making, it was like. Let's go to Peterborough because yeah, at least we're still in England. We're close to your family. And I get mean? that. That's a sen- yeah. it's yeah. a sensible move at yeah. that stage. Yeah. So I was like, and Peterborough are flying in League One, yeah. flying. So they're in the they're in the playoffs at the time. Did you sit down with Big Baz? Oh, did I? <laughs> is that the one who oh, gets you in his office? Oh, <laughs> this is sold to the fat lad. <laughs> he was he was great. Man, he was great. He he's was... brilliant, though, isn't he? No, he's fantastic. Like yeah, you brilliant. know, I don't know if you dealt with him. A few yeah, times. Dealt yeah, with him, yeah, yeah. Well, so I've gone down down there with my agent, and my dad, um, to discuss terms and stuff like that. And he's he's uh, I've gone in with Darren Ferguson with my dad. We're talking football, all this stuff. The agent's gone upstairs with with Barry. He go, he comes flying in the room. This ain't this ain't fucking going to happen, Daz. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like so dramatic. He, he, wa- he wants fucking Man City wages. <laughs> I'm thinking, I want much money. You know, like he wants, he wants more than a fucking star striker. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and I'm like, I don't really. It's not that bad. You know, yeah. like it's it's. I think it's just probably average wage in your playing squad. You know what I mean? Um, and he's like, it's fucking done. It's fuck, we're not going anywhere. So he was like, right, open yeah. the car. I think, it was, I think it was a difference between a few hundred pounds in the yeah. end, you know, like it always is, isn't it? You yeah. know, like, and um, or a few bonuses or change, and you know, we're going to the championship, that sort of stuff. And 
Uh, so we get up, get in the car, an hour that way back down in the what, car. And what's your agent said when he's come out? He's going. He's just drained. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's, going, he's going. It was um, Matt Jackson. His name was great. Actually, he, he comes out. And he's like, it's hard. It's always hard for being like it's yeah. tough. Like you're always just trying to. That's the way he does his business. You know what I mean? And then my dad, obviously, in the time, he's not seen anything. So he's like, what the fuck's going on here? Do you know what I mean? So we get back in the car, drive back home the next day, get a phone call, it's back on. That was the last day of the window, that as well. So it's back on, drive back down there, sign, give Barry a hug, and then yeah. it's, all good, it's all good. And um, I did, I did find, you know, like I, I picked, I wanted to go to Peterborough based on the way they play football. They had a sit, like, they had um, George Boyd, Grant McCann, Lee Tomlin. Oh, they had a real side at that side. Yeah. Um, I just signed there for um, Aaron McLean that gone to Hull. Yeah. So I swapped with him. Progression there. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. And um, I, he, he was a hero McHale, there as well. Mikael Smith. Mikael Smith. So I was thinking, play, Mikhail play from Mikael Smith. Perfect for me. And Mand Mendez Lang was there. Tommy Rowe. We had, uh, we had a serious... Ryan Bennett, who went on Premier League Norwich. Yeah, yeah. We had a, uh, Joel Lewis, good goalkeeper. We had a serious team. TK. Yeah. yeah Tom Kennedy the, was probably there. Probably the worst player. But... <laughs> <laughs> he just so clipped in channels. Tom was trying to play here. Just yeah, clip. yeah. Chop, chop, clip it was. <laughs> I was saying, play to feet, Tom. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just keep clipping. Um, Some clip though, wasn't it? But yeah. Oh, he had a great left foot. Yeah, what great guy. left foot. What a great guy. Like, well, he became one of my good friends from that stint, stint there. Um, Car but, school or not? No, we moved, down, moved there. down there. It's way too, it's just too far. Yeah, we do it. We every now and again we do a trip back on a Tuesday together, or if I was coming back. But my, my missus ended up after about six months, she moved back up up north because it was just tough for the move and stuff like oh, that. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I was doing a lot of like buzzy Tuesday. View. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> no babies. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, sleep. And... I started to play really well at that time, <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, so it was good. So they they created chances. They just scored goals. They were known for like. If we're going to win, we're going to win by one goal, but it's going to be five, four, four three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I was c coming on every week, scoring every week, scoring, play, score. Do you know what I mean? I had a great. I think I still in the top five for goals to games records ever in their thing at that time. Right. Um. But because of the standard of the players that was playing, I was just in and out of load. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Then the that summer we got promoted. We beat Huddersfield in the playoff final, three one. At Old Trafford, unbelievable. Um, Bet you'd have there for that one. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. Why did you play it? Because was I Wembley, think Wembley was done, getting built. Yeah, built, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, um, yeah, Wembley was at Cardiff that year. Yes, yeah. yeah. Millennium Stadium. Yeah. There was. There was. There was a uh, League One and League Two was at Old Trafford, and I think the Championship one was at Cardiff. Yeah. I think. Class. So it was unbelievable. That unbelievable day, um, first promotion. You know, it was, you know what it's like, it's, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. Good it? celebration. Yeah, that. good celebrations, back to the Marriott and then out, out in Manchester, so. And did you have a trip? Did they pay for you for a trip away? No, no, we didn't, no. Fucking hell, Barry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's not, and it's not in the back. contract, is it? It's not Sorry, in the contract. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't get, we, we didn't get anything. Um, but they get, like I like I said, I didn't, I didn't drink at that stage anyway. Do you know, yeah. Like I was, yeah, so promoted, uh, went away that summer, like, worked hard again uh, going up into the championship. championship so I'm thinking right it's perfect for me I'm going to so I yeah, worked really hard the off season um, just a quick one what what was Boydie like because I've heard oh, when he was at Burnley joke apparently what, like, no, when he was, was at Burnley I heard that every day like he fittest man he I've ran home yeah. fittest I man to train and ran home I've yeah. heard that we did the test you know like I think like did... a 10k run but yeah. like he ran there trained and then ran home so like you're adding 20k a day or something <laughs> yeah did. no he was honestly i've never seen anyone run like i thought i was fit we did pre-season with him and he was like he's two different lengths in front it? of you yeah he's different in front of the old group he could just run he was just like everyone shouting chill out boy dude. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No heroes. he's off he's racing <laughs> <laughs> no heroes yeah, yeah. <laughs> the worst is yeah Worse is when you get a goalkeeper who wants to race though, isn't it? Oh, He's there the worst then once you just gotta leave it. You don't need yeah, to. You can't like I can't finish behind you yeah. as a goalkeeper. Yeah. We yeah. had one uh, old saying the gaffer joined in the runs and yeah. said if anyone finishes behind me, like you'll yeah, never Paul, you'll never play. Paul Warren was like that bit. One of the fat lads yeah. from youth group. <laughs> 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 he didn't get past the gaffer, it was well funny. Yeah. Poor lad. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he never played for him. No, Parker no. as well. He was heavy as well, Parker at the time. How are you not beating the gaffer, lad? Come on. Yeah. As long as you beat the keeper and the gaffer. He was in his 50s, right? weren't he? Must have been at the time. Parking late 40s. Out, probably late 40s, yeah. Was it John Parker? No, Phil no, Parkinson. No, Phil Parkinson. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah. He was there, uh, thingy. But... Yeah, Boyd was fit. Yeah, fit. So he, yeah, yeah and he was a top. He was a top player, mate. He was a top, top player. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, we've got we uh, Craig McHale Smith went to Brighton. He bagged some goals that year. Oh, he, yeah, he was he was phenomenal that year. He scored some, like, he's, like long blonde. Locks. Yeah, yeah, just 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 a rash, just everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Won't give second to defenders. And he anyway, he he went to Brighton, so I was thinking, fantastic. They brought Nicky Jose in. Yeah. They brought him in for quite like a fee. Um, um, and then Darren Ferguson was like, oh, look, don't worry, you're gonna play with Tomo. Don't worry. Um, Lee Tomlin. Yeah. How how did you find him? <sighs> Great player. Man. Yeah. Honestly, like he he was he if he'd probably had. Years below him that he was doing stuff, you know, like yeah. he, could, he he was he could do things like some serious things. With His football. ability was unreal. I was yeah. at um, Rushton with him. Yeah, Rushton died. So he signed from Rushton to there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, yeah. And he, he, I think if he just he got he did get fit. He got fit, and he could. I was gonna say, was he heavy? He was just heavy. He looked heavy. Time. He looked heavy, but he could actually shift a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he was. It, it, I know what you mean, though. Like if someone would have took him under their wing and and. Just that little extra player. bit, yeah. just that little extra bit, he could have gone wherever he wanted, I think, with his ability. Yeah, because he, he had a bit of magic every now and again. He'd just turn it on, you'd be like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, we went from from that point then. It was um, put into pre season and uh, had a good pre season and stuff like that. And it was about, it was out of me and like Nicky at the time, we was going to start. And anyway, we went with Nicky for the first day against Crystal Palace at home. So I was a bit disappointed about that in the first in the first point, and then I uh, came on like after I came he got injured came on after I think it's like forty minutes but scored the winner, and then, you did yeah scored the winner so I was Lovely like great start, great yeah. start to the season diving at the back post, great start to the um great back start to the season and then um, championship goal championship goal first one on the do you know what yeah you ticked it off you're done, so then went then we had the cup but FA Cup. Uh, not the, it might be the FA Cup or one of the cups. Went to Stevie, scored two, was flying. Went another home game, scored again. So I was just starting the season off like fire. Then it's coming to that because obviously you got at the start of the season. You got that little bit of window left to the window, ain't you? Yeah. And I uh, got a phone call, and they were bringing in a lad from Macclesfield. Um, oh, I forgot his name. So many names, isn't it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Got you. <laughs> they were bringing a striker in from Macclesfield that they were going to pay money for Emile Sinclair his name was um, are you not fuming when you've heard that and I'm like what like I've just started the season off flying and they were a bit like that you know like and, and I was like right okay well I've done it again I'll go again um, and then I um, was like right back in Playing, I got a phone call and it was like, right, won't you just go out and long? <laughs> Who, who's put a phone call <laughs> into you? Um, my, agent, my agents rang me and gone, look, the uh, Barry's rang me, they want me to go out and long. I was like, what? I was just top goal scorer after about five games. <laughs> just scored five in five or whatever it is. And I was like, seriously? And they were like, yeah, they want me to go out long. Like, and I was just flabber, I, I just couldn't believe it. And then, is there a chance for you to to go? No, like I want to, like I want, I want, I want to stay and fight for my place. Not really. No, it was kind of like you going. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want you to go. I went into Darren, spoke to him, and he was like, "Look, you know, I love you, Bolly. Like, but I don't think the chairman fancies you. Do you know what I mean?" Um, I, 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 I could potentially, I could, I could potentially score. Yeah, twenty goals this season. Yeah, I'm already flying. Um. Oh, you know, you know, I think it's best. You know what I mean? Still like, pissed yeah. off, aren't you? So I'm like, whoa, Gaffer. whoa! <laughs> I just said, do you know what? It was probably one of the one things in one of the one things in my career where I've gone like, how was that happening? Yeah, you know, you've started that well, and everyone. I can't remember going down, down to the dressing room to tell the lads. It's like you're leaving a bird. It's, it's not me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. It's, it's the like, chairman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I love you, Bowley, but yeah. the chairman wants you out. And there was a lad there, a, a scouse lad at the time called Paul Taylor as well. He was a good, he was a good player. He ended up doing my, he ended up coming, he was coming in through the, he, it, Paul had been in, in prison for a few years and then they took a gamble on him. He was some player as well. So they had him as well. So I was like, all right, well, let's see what's going on here. Yeah. Um. So it, so I said, right then, well, I'll pick where I'm going on loan then. You know, like I'm not going wherever you what, want you me to. You pick Rochdale? Yeah, yeah this is no one's <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> my missus was pregnant at the time. Ah, right. So you wanted to be so back my, So the birth of me. Again, uh, another no, 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 another no, one. That was just, the same one in the same. Nah, just a long, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. found out obviously over right. that course, he was she was due. So I went right. I go up there. Oh fucking hell! It's like hundred one Dalmatians. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> got, got two out yeah. straight away. <laughs> but no, uh, then went. So I said right. So Steve Ayres, who's my youth team coach, and Frankie Bun, they, they, they were my youth team yeah, coaches. Yeah. They'd just gone into Rochdale and were struggling a little right. bit. Same league. Same league. Uh, well, no, well, League One, well, sorry. League, League One, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, So I was like, you know what, I'll go there for a month. So I said, I'll only do a month. Went there, scored five goals in that month. Called me straight back after the loan window shut. So so I was flying by this point, you know, yeah. like... Realistically, you've scored about 10 goals. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm flying clubs. here. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, season's flying, but I'm at two different clubs. I, I was still in no man's land a little yeah. bit. Went back, played the, I think it was Brighton. Scored against Brighton. Do you know, like, then played again. A um, couple of games. Scored against uh, Bristol Rose. I'm flying again. Gets to January. And they're like, want you to go again? Are you top goal scorer by this stage? Yeah, I've scored yeah. the most goals in the club. Like, uh, I think Paul Taylor, Paul Taylor come on a scene. He'd been flying at that point. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, so I thought, what's going on here? Like, just, like it's the weirdest game ever, though. Isn't it's it? the like, weirdest game, and I was like, well, what's going on? I like, and then I just, I just thought, right, go. This was after the, it was a little bit. There was a couple of months left of the season or whatever, and the like, the last loan window or whatever. I just wanted to go back to Rochdale because I enjoyed my football there. So I'd, I'd scored like 11, 12 goals by this point across the championship, and yeah, and I'm thinking, and then no, no, I did it. So I, that's it. I did. A loan from January to another month loan. Yeah. Called me back again. So I came back for the last period. Um, and then the last period, I scored on the last day against Derby County. I scored a screamer against Derby County on the last day. So at this point, I scored quite a few goals, like a few goals in the what championship. What did you finish on, do you know? I think it was like for over that course of the year, it was about 13 goals, you know, across the two leagues. Yeah. I think that's not bad, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I scored against some good clubs. Messy and- season as well, though. Messy season. So you, you're in and out. You not know where you're playing. You're playing with different lads all the time. So I thought, I've, I've done actually well here. You know, I like to get something out of this season. Yeah. Um. So coming out after the Derby game, we get 50 points. We stay up. Peterborough stay up. So I'm thinking, right, surely now they're going to like look after me now. Like, you know, I keep coming back. You keep getting me back. And and I remember after the game, he's, uh, Dan Ferguson's assistant came up to me. Rooster, Rooster his name was. And he's, he's gone like, Fucking hell, boy! Like fuck, you know, like you know, that's it. You know what I mean? I was like, what? He's like, you know, like give me an hug, and I was like, oh, I've done then. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how you got because he'd already knew he, he knew like, and he liked me. You know what I mean? Yeah. He liked me a lot, and uh, and I'd scored that last goal on the last day, so yeah, and you were still going. I was up for sale, so I was up for sale. That so, so they put us on. They have a policy there for the last last year, put you up on the transfer list. So went on the transfer list, had a couple of offers at that time, I think it was like Charlton or um, Brentford. And I was just like, right, I've had enough of the South thing it was doing my head in yeah. because of the way that everything had gone there. I was you wanted to I stay up north. If I went down, if <clears> I stayed down there again and that happened to me and I'm back and forth, I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. So then I was waiting for Fleetwood. I was, I knew Fleetwood were, obviously they'd sold Vardy. So that was so you joined the, the the league two, so yeah, so we just won that league. You, yeah, you went, you you you'd won it with them, hadn't you? Yeah, yeah, I think that was probably your season you'd left. Well, yeah, because I wasn't allowed to go back into the league. 
Why do you not know? Be- because obviously I had to retire yeah, from yeah. my blood disease. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't play in the league. Yeah. So when so, we so won the league, back, yeah, yeah. Vardy left. Yeah. I had to leave. Yeah. I didn't realize you went. You signed yeah. that following season. Yeah. yeah. Why couldn't you go up? Because you, you get paid out through insurance. Yeah, you can't play for you, professional. You can't go back into the football league again. Yeah. I just thought you were crap. I could make <laughs> it back. No. So yeah, when it when it twice. No, you done. Go. Yeah, you done. You done well with. Um, yeah, we'd finished with, yeah. like I say, like record. You smashed months, it. Too. Yeah. You'd yeah. all scored a load of goals each, hadn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Did Did you feel under pressure coming in? Like obviously not following me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sedentary. Yeah. Like, but like obviously following Vardy. Yeah. Yeah. You were brought in to, to and follow Vardy. And he paid, paid quite a bit of money for me at the time. You know, like it was a good transfer fee for for a League Two side. Yeah. Um, I suppose he just sold Vardy for a million. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it was a it was a big fee for League League Two. Um. So I went up. Seeing what they were trying to do in the chairman there, you know, like Andy's, Andy's top class in there. Top class. Sat down with me and said, "Look, this is how I see Fleet within the next five, six years." Yeah. And to be fair, everything he did, he's right, he right. said, "Yeah." You sit down with Mickey. Yeah, I sat down with Mickey. What did you think of Mickey when you met him? Oh, he's all right, isn't he? He's all right. He was just like, "Hey, where are you? Go on, I'll look after your son." You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And, you know that sort of thing. Fucking hell, man! <laughs> yeah, he did that all the time. <laughs> Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Yeah. Um, that's so, where I remember you scoring most of your goals. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think everyone probably does in that stint. You know, like um, I found it hard at first to adapt from the football cause changes. Very league, you know, league two. It was we'd sign Parky, uh, we'd sign Yuma Wenny, who was who'd been around Championship. We'd say Damien Johnson, Blackburn, um, Barry Nick Barry Nicholson, um. Yeah. Who else did we sign? I didn't know you all played in that season. Yeah, you played did that you? season. Yeah, yeah. So we signed a lot of SARS game. That SARS game. Oh yeah. Um. So they signed like some really good players on. Good, yeah. You know what I mean? And I was thinking, right, this it's good. Like just have a year there, scored a load, load of goals, um, get up. And it didn't quite go like that. Um. Obviously at that time as well, like we had some good players that come come through your group, like Mangi and and um, Ponde. Pondy, fantastic guy. Pondy, your yeah. skipper there? He was skipper all, yeah. pretty much all, <clears throat> all the way through proper, proper Nolte. guy. Nolte. Steve McNulty, uh, Maguire. Sean Beale. Yeah, Sean Beale. Uh, G- Junior Brown. Junior Brown. So all they came in at the same time, and you know what it's like at a football club when you see that there was a big change, I think, you know, like in terms of lads would come in and lads would come in on money. And, and, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and yeah. the problem is they know what some of them are coming in on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, it took a long time to sort of like get that group to do that. Do you know, like right, to bust the both. You know what I mean? But it was great. I lads. suppose you got lads coming up from the national league who were on a certain wage. Then you got lads who are being brought in from championship, from championship and league, and league and one clubs, yeah. double on miles. Yeah, and miles and I was earning more money to go there. You know what I mean at the time. So were well, they offering you more money? Then than I wasn't. Than you was on. Peterborough. Yeah, I wasn't on like because uh, I come out of the academy. And that they was offering me more money. So yeah. Um, which was it was crazy, you know what I mean? But in my eyes, I didn't. I just thought I need a stable season to go and because I was scoring goals. Was you open to do one season and then jump yeah, again? A hundred percent. Like, and that's what they brought me in for. I think. Yeah. And they, they thought I'll come in, I'll score a load of goals, and they'll sell me on. Um, it didn't happen that, but uh, <laughs> so what happened in that I first read. season. I, so I, I can't remember so I got, where, I, where you ended up that I got, season. I got we. We finished at just that. I think it was just outside, outside the playoffs. playoffs yeah, probably yeah, like eight for nine for something like that. What season did you win it? The next season. The next season. Yeah, that's yeah. where you was. That's what, yeah. But like Mickey had got sacked then, hadn't he? The Graham Alexander. Graham Alexander came in, yeah, for pre-season. Yeah. That was um, our pre-season. He Graham. He, he runs you, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What did you think of him? So he came. He... In, he came into the towards the last end of the season. You know, the past yeah. end. So we knew what he needed to to do to get so he had his own team then so he brought in a lot of players um he brought in, he brought in uh, the big skipper Matt oh he'll, he'll hate this because I'm, I'm gonna meet him tomorrow blonde haired uh, lad no ginger haired lad Mark, Ro- Mark Roberts you know plays Stevenage <laughs> yeah I don't forget his name I just saw you know when, you could, when you're in a circle of Robbo sorry mate um <laughs> So he was a top. He brought him from Stevenage, and he'd won a few promotions. Big, big lad. 
he was he was fantastic. So brought Gaz Evans came in. Yeah. Um, Josh Morris came in. He played then Ian Hume. Hume. Hume came in. Um, Tranmere lad. Yeah. Was it Tram? Was it? Yeah, yeah. He came in. He, he had a bad accident, did he? Did he? Did yeah, he? Yeah, he did. He, he was. He. It was. A, I had like it a was an head head or his skull really? fractured his skull. Yeah. yeah so. Oh, we, who was he at there? Oh, he was in the game. I think he was in the game, right? Yeah, he was in the game. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's only Pondy who's hit me hard enough to do that. No, no, it weren't. It, not against Fleetwood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was bad. That makes me never want to go for an header again, that. You don't, do you? Shit like that. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old turtle head. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't worry yeah. about your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was... Um, we, we were putting together a good side, you know, with all the lads that was already there. Then pre-season and our parking pre-season, he was hilarious. Man. Yeah, so it's in our pre-season and you've yeah. got John parking. <laughs> yeah, but parking was just hilarious, man. He was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. So and he, so they did it for him, for parking where, so we say we're doing six runs, he would do three. So we'd do <laughs> one every two. You know what I mean? <laughs> to look after him. Yeah. You get to his one. So we've done the one, get to the two. Yeah. So after the f- fourth one, he could run parking. When he got going, he was a big guy. He could shift, you know, like yeah. in, on on them long runs. Yeah. And he's going, catch up, lads. You know, like, <laughs> I'm thinking, you're it. fucking doing half. <laughs> you know, like, he, he was just meant to, he was just, honestly, he was a different level. Like, if you're doing half, you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, yeah, do. but he <laughs> just, just like, you know, like, it. he he wasn't, he, he'd just take the piss, but in the funniest way ever about it. And he'd just, ah, I'm not doing that. Man. You know what I mean? That's not for me. You know, <laughs> did the lads not bother about it? No, because we knew, like, Parky was, he was a good player, like yeah. good finisher. Like I, enjoy, I loved playing with him. Um, if you know that's not someone's strength, it's not too bad, is it? It's difficult though pre-season when the lads are slogging it. Yeah, and you know that it's difficult just as a striker out. if Park is doing that, and then you're yeah, yeah, and you're that, not, and you're like, well, he's gonna play. Yeah, you know what I mean. But he was that he was good at that, le- that level then. That he, you accepted Park he was a top player. You know what I mean? Yeah. He could he was gonna. Help us get promoted, pretty much. So it worked, though, didn't it? It, it did. worked, and it did. And did you did you feel like that that team were good enough to get yeah promoted? Yeah, yeah. We we um I started off season flying. I was I had ten goals by January in that season, and um, then I got uh, playing at Northampton. Just ball comes into me, like players come from behind, desiccate my shoulder. I was out for three oh. months, so we just managed to. Sc- I came back for like three games before, two games before the playoffs. So I went, I'd literally not trained, just went straight back in the side. Um, got a few goals like to the end of the season. And then um, you play at Wembley. And then I play, got man at match in that game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and obviously, Sar scored that. Yeah. He'll say like he meant like a worldy free kick, you know what I mean? But he, uh, <laughs> well, he didn't actually. Mean I was just so happy when it went. You know, one of them ones where you just go in and it's like, should really done better there goalkeeper but I'm buzzing <laughs> you know right, what I mean yeah. um, is that your first time at Wembley as well yeah first time playing at Wembley unbelievable like yeah. quite a day so um, another, and, another promotion you know it was good it was what I'd been there for was to get there I, I seriously think if I if I'd stayed fit for that f- three months I would have had like top goals like season goals you know what I mean yeah so you had a trip though didn't you yeah we had a trip to Magaluf um, How good that was good. It, then Maga. Oh well, yeah, that was my first time going to Maga. Parky and Big Rat uh, Creswell come out with a with a with a Magaluf vests on, proper like dads, you know, like at that point. <laughs> but they were I great. tell you what, they must have hammered the shots and the the free bar, the all inclusive. Imagine them too. Imagine oh, they was imagine. classic, mate. Well, Him, Charlie, Ta- Charlie, Taylor, Charlie Taylor was there as well, left back. Who was at who was at Burnley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great player. He, so they obviously travelled into each travelled in together like hilarious. What well, was session just in. just like Chaz was one of them kids. He was just uh, you know when you go like a you say like a ditzy blonde like about like, about women and that. Yeah, he was the ditzy like lad. You know like. He, he just he, he just got the thing he'd jump park and drive his car onto it. he got a courser he had a courser park he drives it onto the pitch and he's like Graham what what, what do you want think me and Creswell can get in this car you know because he knows that this kid's coming <laughs> what so he he drove his car onto the pitch yeah yeah this kid's him. this kid's coming from uh, Leeds at the time so they've known that they can meet him and, and park he's gone right 
we'll meet you here and we'll go in together, yeah. He turned up in a course, so these two, they're like <laughs> six foot five and they're in this course and he drove it in and he goes, what the fuck's this, Graham? I can't travel in this. You know, like on the picture, yeah. he was honestly hilarious. But um, yeah, we, we went went off to MAGA and... Um, you can't know, really tell any stories, can you? No, nah, that <laughs> might have, we just, that was the first time it's we had a really proper... a good time that we had. Proper fueled, you know, like first one where I'd had like, because we didn't go away with Peterborough. Um, and we're just drinking every day and just around with, with the lads and stuff. It was it was brilliant. Nearly had me and Mike Roberts nearly had a fight. They had ice cubes that were like this, like tennis balls. Yeah, we'll launch one. He's it, it hit me on a thing and we'll launch one. I've gone going back and going back and he's he's just gone for me. So we're in parking. Parking's like you're not getting past parking. The way <laughs> parking's in, in the middle. middle, and I'm going. You can't touch me. <laughs> 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 Knowing for well that if Robbo got me, he would have beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm saying to him, you're too slow, Robbo, you're too slow. I'm too quick for you. Anyway, <laughs> we go into the bar after that. We're singing all the songs and karaoke there. And um, everyone's picking songs for each other. So we had a song like, uh, and after all, you're David Ball, you know, like that year and that. Yeah. So we're singing that and everyone's open that. And I picked Robbo's. And I've just picked him all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone up and he's gone. He's noticed what the song is and he's like, Oh, you bastard. <laughs> just got sing it all shit, shit, said, He's singing it and no, everyone's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> no one's helping him. And, he, and he's like, I'm not speaking to you all night, mate. <laughs> yeah, but he was, he, honestly, we got on so well, me and him. He was, he was just a friendly, like, big, friendly giant fan, like, top captain as well. He was he was top. But, They're yeah. the best days, though, aren't they? Oh, them yeah. ones. We had the, yeah. Where are we here? Because you got up to League One, <laughs> signed a new deal. <laughs> Was there no, a, I uh, no, I didn't sign a new deal. I had the year left on my deal. So, what you signed a free year when you went yeah. there? Yeah. Right. So the oh, year left on my deal. It says August 2015. <laughs> Ball signed a new two-year contract with. Yeah, yeah. So, I'd played that next next season. We did. We started an average. We had a decent League One season that year for going yeah. up and stuff like that. Pretty thing. That's when I got. The, I scored that goal. I scored the goal as well. That Puskas nomination. That the Puskas yeah, award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unreal. That on it. Yeah, yeah. So. Te Tell me about it. So yeah, just was playing Preston, and at that time it was late on in the season, and I knew I was leaving. So there was rumours in the club at the time that they wanted to get, they were changing the wage structures and stuff like that, and the Gaz was, Gaz was the same as well. So just a few of the older lads, Steve Schumacher, top like he was another top fella. Um, Is that the Plymouth manager. Yeah, yeah, Shuey, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, got yeah. his Shuey's guy. Got he's a good friend of mine. Start now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, got father to me to me eldest lad. Right. Yeah, yeah. Got on really well with Shuey, top guy. Um, so he ended up. Uh, they we just knew that it was gonna like the older lads were leaving and there's the you know the money was coming down and whatever. Yeah. So you weren't arse, you were just hitting it from anywhere. <laughs> so I've sat on the bench. I was on the bench for that game. And I was like raging that I was on the bench a bit really um and i said to guys at the time i was like guys if i get on me i'm just I'm just gonna shoot from everywhere do you know what i mean yeah and anyway i did like i pretty much did you know what i mean like seeing it did it tell them uh, the goal so, so i just talk me through it i can't um, remember this one so uh it's coming it's ash hunter's down gone down the wing he's he's like i've come off to feet ash hunter seemed like a mental case like as, as oh, he lad. was. He was just all over the place. Yeah, he got to Salford after. Yeah, yeah, he was all over the place. It looked good like a cannon. Good ability, ability. Yeah, always looked like he was tired. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, like he's yeah. been on, he'd been on a bender for like three days the night before. Like, yeah. but he was a good, real good kid. But he just looked. He'd he'd come he'd come from non league and just yeah. didn't know how to adapt a little bit. Took his time to adapt and stuff like that. But yeah, he's played it in off the ring and have. Um, I've got the I've got the ball and gone to the player, turned, sort of turned, opened my body out, and then I've just seen the goalie like off his line. You know the ones you do, you come off the angle as strikers, you know that yeah. one, you come off the angle, you know it's always on for that one. So it's set off on the angle and I've gone for it from quite far out and it's just gone in the top top bin. And like just obviously it's that day the sky cameras are there. Right. I got man in a match. Perfect. I've only been on the pitch ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they did it was just yeah. for the goal, yeah, and we drew one one, and it was a derby as well with Preston. And that, and that wins the Puskas award. And then uh, yeah, I was just like three. I think it was probably two months later. I'm just 
woke up, loads of messages of Fleetwood, like the media guys and that. And uh, you, you said, you've been like awarded for the Puskas Award. I'm like, what? Not knowing what it is. I, I, was, did, I didn't really, I, I, knew what it, what, I knew what it was. I was like, what do you mean? So it's like, you goal, go, you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> score, score loads of them this year. Yeah. Um, so he says to me, he says to me, you need to come in because there's loads of interviews. I was having interviews in America and CNN and everything. Like, it was, you didn't have to go to some award ceremony. Or? No, I didn't. I didn't go. So you had to be in the top, yeah, top three to go to the award ceremony. It was on votes, right? And we were trying to. Obviously, Fleetwood's a small town. Like, unless the, the whole of England get behind me, because it's only me. I think it's me, Wayne Rooney, and uh, which, Ta Townsend. Which which were Wayne Rooney's? They were overhead. Yeah. Against United. Man City. Yeah. Uh, United Man City, yeah. 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 You beat that one? No. He was no, he was he was the I'm only English we're the only Englishman to right. have been nominated. nominated for it ever. Ah yeah. oh, right, okay. So it was like I didn't I didn't realise how big of a thing it was at the yeah. time. Um so doing all these interviews and all that. But anyway, it was on a vote and I needed probably the whole of England to get behind me. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't gonna chance. happen, that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. David Ball from Fleetwood at the time. Do you remember what won it? It was like a Brazilian overhead kick. Was it? Yeah. Um, but I was in there with like Messi, Tevez, loads of them, you know, like Class. big names and stuff yeah. like that. It was, Baller. it was unbelievable, yeah. And it just said David Wall, Fleetwood. Fantastic, <laughs> mate. Well, yeah, that's mint. Um, so, yeah, season. So, at the end of that season, we sort of said like, look, that's it. Uh, went, went and spoke to Greza and Greza was like, look, I want to keep you, Bali, but the club's going in a different direction for us. So I'd, I'd have a decent season again and... Um, so I was like, okay. what they wanted some dough for you, basically? No, no, we we were free. I was a free. I was oh, coming yeah. as a free, yeah. And he was like, look, you're probably gonna get uh, like a better offer. You know what I mean? And than what we can give you. So why don't we just shake hands and you know what I mean? And I was thinking, oh, I like it. I did like it. There. I liked Grez and I liked uh, like Chris Lucchetti. We got on really well. And um, so I was like, right, okay. Anyway, went off. Then I was went to Uddersfield. So I went to meet Chris Powell. There's others field in the champ at the time. Sort of agreed a three year deal at the time. Went to round the dress round the stick round um Mackey's outside stadium and all that. Yeah, I think, <laughs> outside I think the training there. ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but went in there, shook hands on the deal pretty much, and um he just said, Oh look, gotta wait for the sporting director. He had a new one coming in. Um so I was like, Yeah, no problem. So I'm waiting like a day later, two days later, it would have been like Probably my best contracts I've ever had. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then and then uh, I'm ringing the agent, going, "What's going on? What's going on, mate? Just, just we just need to sign, don't we? It's like, like it's, it's forty five minutes, forty minutes from my house. It's perfect, like championship. It's this yeah. is what I've been waiting for. This like, this chance. Anyway, um, he um, rings me and goes, "Look, the sporting director's come in. He wants to go a different path, so we have to." You know, it's this day now and age, you know, like yeah. they're sort of picking the players. Um, so he's gone like we're gonna gonna go a different path, and I was like, oh. Wow. So then I, I sort of had all my hopes on that one, you know what I mean? And then we were talking to a few different clubs. I was gonna go in, and then I went in at Barnsley. Um, I went in, I know I went into Wigan for two weeks. Uh, just when um, they came back into League One that first yeah. season, they were smashed it that season. Um, I went away with them to Spain, scored in all the preseason games, flying. Come back from pre, come back from the preseason. I'm thinking, oh, I nailed on here, lads. Like you've been been here for three weeks, ball. You, you're <laughs> back in the dressing room. No yeah. chance, you know what I mean. And then I went in. and It was like, look, we got to get someone out to get you in. Oh, I hate that shout. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, but you hell. can carry on, you know, like carry yeah. on training until we do it. And I'm thinking, it's been a long like. I've been here for three weeks. We're getting How close. Long did it take you to get somebody out? We're getting close to July. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they were shifting players and all that at the time. Um, um, Greg was coming in at the time on a, on a big contract as well. Like Will Will Greg, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so it was like, right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to leave it. I think I'm gonna have to leave it. You know what I mean? So when he said, look, look, I can't come to stay, and he was he was just like, well, we've got too many players from the championship and. We're trying to get this go this new way and stuff like that. Yeah, I just I do genuinely need someone out. Um, so that didn't happen. It was it was mental. I've ne I could never have gone and gone into a place and done any better than what I did in that three weeks. You know, like I the remember. Clubs are crazy, aren't they? <clears throat> we'd we'd gone to Spain, 
and uh, Max Powers there, he just he just signed from Tranmere, good lad. I got we got on really well, so we've had a night out. So Sharpie, the chairman, David, yeah, David, David yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's ended up being one of my good mates now. Right, yeah, it's just mental. Yeah. So he'd become the chairman just in that that space. So that night we've gone out. Last day of the pre-season, we've gone out. We've all had a drink, got because it's been a heavy pre-season for a week. We've had a drink, all that. Next morning, the manager Caldwell rings and goes, uh, "Right, we're all doing a bike ride." <laughs> yeah, so we've gone down this massive hill all the way down to the bottom. Like it's a good like ten k. Yeah. Down to the bottom, and he's gone right, lads. Race back. Rough oh. as, rough as, yeah. But I'm the hill I, on I, the back. I need a contract here. Yeah. yeah. So, so I've looked at Max and I've gone. He's gone. Just go for it, Barley. I've got. I'm gonna. I'm going for it. You know, I'm going for it. I'm gonna win this. Yeah. To earn a contract. Yeah, I'm going. If I win this, mate, that means that I want it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I'm thinking, <laughs> As if a bike right, race would get you <laughs> yeah. a deal. Yeah, but you know, like mentally, yeah. like you know what football is like. Yeah, you're like, yeah. yeah. Like if I go and win this now, it shows like what I'm about on top of that. Like yeah. we scored goals and that. So I'm like we're minging. He's like, I've got, he's got three year contract. He's all right, so he just stays at the back. And I've gone for it. Yeah, won it. Yeah. Fucking didn't end up getting a contract today. Oh. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> might as well just chill. Yeah, out. might as well just chilled out. But you're just in your mind. You're thinking these little things. You're thinking them one percenters, aren't you? He then said, uh, "Let's go." Uh, yeah, I left there. When it, then Lee Johnson says, come into Barnsley. Do you know what I mean? So I'm fucking, he goes, just play this game against Mansfield. Just needs to know where you're at. Yeah. So I was like, right, no problem. Came in, played against Mans Mansfield. Scored a worldy from like 30 yards out. Like lobbed the goalkeeper from 30 yards out. And he's, and then after the game, did a decent game, fit. You know what I mean? He's gone. I want you to come to Scotland five days. And then, then we'll, Done so, some pre-season trips in <laughs> for contracts, and I was like, at this point, I was fed up. I was like, what if I get injured? The, the season's yeah. a, year, a week away. I said, look, look, you, you know me as a player. You've your team. You've you've been manager of Oldham for yeah. Like, come on, you know me as a player by now. Like, yeah. Like, I, I don't want to go what to Scotland. You get, to if see? I get injured in them five days, that's me finished now. I've just done a game for you, which the, yeah. the chances of getting injured is even more. Like them five days aren't going to change your opinion on me now. Um, and then uh, yeah, and he, and he didn't like that. He didn't like it that he sort of said that I uh, held him to ransom at the time. To yeah, to because I scored a goal. You can't wait. Came out and said that. Is that what he said? He came, said he came out and said that in the, in the press. Just because you scored a goal, you held him. Could have scored a worldie. Scored, uh, yeah, and I was like, come on, it's not like this is football. Like a, yeah. this is genuine. Like you know, I'm being genuine. I've got. A, I've got. A, uh, at that point, I'd had me my my young, another one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, we're, we're one week out of the season. I, I have to make decisions. So anyway, Fleetwood at this point rings me, goes come back. You know, like we want you to come back. Like a couple of their transfers have not not gone well and whatever. And says come back. Guys, of course, says come I back. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like that's what he signed a new two year deal. So signed a new two year deal. Yeah. How weird. It's just football, and it? it's weird. Won a bike race. <laughs> Won a bike race. Scored loads of goals in pre season. Scored a worldy love at Barnsley. Back at Fleet. Yeah. Yeah. Held, held the club to ransom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lost lost my three year contract to some uh, director coming in, and it was like, wow, whirlwind. So you've been to like three, four different clubs there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Huddersfield, Wigan, Barnsley. Barnsley. Yeah. Three clubs, yeah. And back to Fleetwood. And then back to Fleetwood. So it was like, right, come back in. And anyway, that season was, uh, Greza, we didn't start off great. Obviously, it was a new team. It was, he'd not had, he'd not been able to sign many players, you know what I mean? But, was it like you'd not been away though? You know, like you coming back in? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was just, just like, normal for me. Yeah. So I, I knew that, because I had a couple of other offers that were the same offers. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going back there because it's, I, I prefer to know what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I went back there. Did just did they offer you a better deal than what you no, were already less. on? Less. Yeah. It was a lot less. <laughs> it, was, was it? it was yeah. It was probably twenty, thirty percent less. But at that point it was We well, had nothing. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I had the same as what I, I was they were getting offered yeah. anyway. So yeah. it was like, right, take it, you know, like got a family to look after. You just gotta do it, you know what I mean? Wanted to play. It was coming to the first week of the season, I was thinking, I don't wanna miss the first week pre the first week of the season. Yeah. 
went back. Had a had, had another like decent season again. Um, was playing a bit all over the place. Reza got sacked halfway through. We got beat at Gillingham pretty heavy, and he got sacked. And then uh, um, Presley came in. Oh, yeah. uh, Elvis, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> is, and he, he, he was wild, he, wasn't he? Wow, yeah. Everyone says he was wild. Steve, wow. Steve great was guy, like, honestly. Yeah. Like, top, top fella. Him, him and his assistant were top, top. But they were just, they were on it. Yeah. They were on a different level. Like, you were getting fines for, for everything, body fats. You, it was anything you could get fined for, you were getting fined for. The first day was like a list of fines. But his training, that the way he went about things, was top. Was it? Yeah. It was top. Um, he brought in a few different loans and that and managed to stay 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 up. But he was like, he was one of them, like, it was points based in, in, in like training if you if if he was like if you win in training and i know that you're a winner and you you're naturally winning all the time you're playing for me on the weekend it's simple because i know that you want to win in training you know so you'd have a point system of like if you win five sides, they'd change it all the time but you had your individual point system so it was the training was relentless it was hard I lost a lot of, like i went to probably the skinniest i've been in the entire career like it was just just because of the just intensity, of, the intensity of everything yeah. yeah ended up doing me it was the first muscle injury i ever had and the last one i've ever had in my career hamstring pulled my hamstring for like three months just the amount of work i think yeah doing. i think yeah i just never used to to work working at that weight as well you know yeah. i'd lost like four or five kilograms of like slim as anything yeah. trying to get three points on a tuesday afternoon and yeah <laughs> yeah bad. and uh but That's he was a, a bit good, mad he yeah. was a good yeah he was mental but he was he was good imagine he was, having like a little score chart yeah. in the room yeah he was great he was uh 18 points among love yeah he asked <laughs> it was funny he was a funny he was a funny guy as well he asked he, he asked me and uh um one of the lads to do uh you know something funny for the lads from before the game so yeah. Chris Maxwell was their goalkeeper good goalkeeper and at the time he was trying to get he was saying like I should be playing you know like in the press like, I should be playing for Wales and he should probably should have you know what I mean because he was doing that well yeah. and they hadn't brought him in yet so we had to do this uh, me and Jimmy Ryan scouse, uh, scouse lad we did this you know where you could do that you used to be able to do that thing where you put your face on a player player and the mouth moves you used to do that <laughs> yeah, 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 and all yeah, that yeah yeah, yeah. And uh, did that, and um, you know, like he was, he was Coleman, he was the Welsh manager, yeah. And I was Chris Maxwell, and it's like ringing on the phone, like we're ringing, and then the two pictures in the mouths moving, you know, like saying, and he's, he's like, yeah, Coleman, up. Coleman's like, and answered the phone, and he's like, what, what we, what's going on here? Who's this? And he's going, Chris Maxwell, and we're going, who? Eh? Never heard of you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it was just brilliant. And we did this thing for him, and anyway, someone like three years down the, the track. Text me. So I've just been in a meeting with Presley. He's gone up to Scotland. He's just shown your finger now. I think. <laughs> no, <laughs> still yeah. got it. Still got it. It was like, ah, lads, have a look at this. It's brilliant. It was <laughs> class. And we just had I'm with Maxi. He was great for it. Maxi didn't see it coming. It was before before the game. Was it before a game? Before the game as well. The game as well. Oh. He was like, yeah, but it was a good start. But you ended up having your best season for him in terms of goals. No, it was Uve. That Oh, is it after yeah, he only did he in? only he only did one seat uh, one seat. Uh, That's right. Uwe Rosler came in, didn't he? Yeah, he was my best half a season for Bresla. Yeah, yeah. They just did. Yeah, it didn't it didn't work for whatever reason? But he was great. He was great. And then uh, Uwe came in, and uh, he was he was the one manager who got me like to a T, just as a player. I think he was a forward player, you know himself. Yeah. So he he, he let me be me. You know what I mean? So we played a Christmas. Christmas tree. Uh, Devante oh, Christian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we had to. We didn't have like it. wasn't the biggest names. Well, well, we had some good ones. Amari Bell left back playing. Yeah, at, yeah. yeah. Um, we had um, Wes Burns, which has now just got promoted. With it was rich. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Dempsey, uh, Jimmy Ryan, Bobby Grant, um, Devante Cole, Chris Long, myself. We had a good, we, they were good players in there, you know what I mean? But the, everyone was starting out, a few of them were starting out. So we didn't yeah. know what we were going to be like, but he just got us organised. And I, I was playing in one of the roles behind. And he just was like, you just do whatever you want to do. For the first time, any manager was like, I don't want you doing this. And as long as you do your job out the ball, like off the ball person yeah. and that, just that one job, go wherever you wanted to go. 
You know what I mean? Having that freedom. Oh, God, God. it was the first time ever, yeah. Yeah. I was used to chasing going into the corners, you know, like on my own and fighting against... And he was just like, come off the line, come in pockets and play and get us going. And I just... Anyway, I just flourished under it. He was he, he was he was just weren't, weren't he a, f- a former coach at Man City? Yeah, he was a former player and coach, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so he knew well, me I from remember, the, I remember him going into the coaching he, setup. He knew me from the youth teams and stuff as well. Right. Um and he took an instant liking to me with a city connection and stuff yeah. like that. And we got on like really well. Um I mean like I was captain a few times for it for him and he was just always like he'd pull me and like I would have lads, he was so funny, mate. He'd just he'd come in training and he'd be like the, the door would be like half open in, in this little room and it'd be like, shh, come in here. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, what the fuck is going on with the lads? <laughs> you know what I mean? He was... Um, you're, you're like the inside spy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, I, and he, I was like, just relax. you know, I'd be like, relax, they're fine. Like, don't think, don't think too much. You know, and we had that great relationship where he trusted everything I said. Yeah. And I didn't have to then say anything or he just let me, me and a few of the other ones look after the dressing room and it was brilliant and uh, we went... Class having that responsibility as well. Yeah, I loved it for the first time. It was the first time I had that responsibility. Yeah. I was like maybe what twenty six at the time, and I was like, right, yeah, this is I'm here now anyway. You know, I can I'm a, I'm well into my career now, so it was brilliant. He was he, yeah, he was honestly like one of the funniest funniest guys. He was he he was just on he, he was on you for body fats all the time. He was yeah. Just, yeah. He'd be pinching the lads. He'd be at the canteen. Hey, fuck like checking the yeah, body. He'd be like, hey, fucking watch yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What are you having? You know, like watching your foods. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Ryan had massive calves and he would just like kick his calves and he's like, Jimmy, what the fuck are those? <laughs> <laughs> he was just, he was, he was fantastic. He'd, he'd be at Friday, Friday after training. He'd be, he'd make you, so he didn't have a penalty taker. He'd right. make the three of you take penalties to see who took it on a Saturday. But he wouldn't just like let you take a pen. He'd be like, top off behind the goal. Hey, look at me. <laughs> you know, like, what that? Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put you off. yeah, and he'd come over and kick the ball away and just do all that mad stuff and be running across the goal and, you know, like doing all mad stuff. But it was just, it, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> he was, honestly, he was a lead. Honestly, he was, I still speak to him now. He was, he was a. But because, where but, did he go after that? Where is he now? I think he's in uh, Denmark or he's been at like Malmo and some top yeah, clubs. Top, yeah. honestly, one of the best coaches I've had. Like on the on the park, amazing. Did you leave? Did you leave Fleetwood when he was still there? Yeah, it was a tough one. I was say, how did you make that decision? Because you went to Rotherham, like real tough. So I knew at that point I had a real good season. Yeah, I played probably the best I'd had ever in a season How old are you now? 26? 26 yeah I'm thinking I still want to go to the championship yeah Um, and I was getting some good offers at the time but I did say to him like Rotherham came in for me and a couple of others Rotherham were Rotherham Rotherham in League One right. so they were going to be League One with us anyway yeah and he was fighting desperately for me to stay but obviously I had took a big drop at that yeah, time yeah so goodness. i wanted to go and i knew what i was getting offered else where at the time and i was like you gotta go to that to yeah. i'll stay you know what i mean yeah. whatever they offer me if you offer it me if and i knew they could yeah and uve was sort of fighting my corner at the time uh to say like look we're gonna have to pay that anyway you know to bring yeah. in the quad caliber that we need to. yeah um and you've you've been there five years yeah, at that time yeah. yeah and i don't i don't know why i you know um i've gotten really they had uh, Greta Steinson was a sporting director at the time. Oh, yeah, Greta, yeah. Greta, Greta was a great guy, like, but obviously he was trying to do what's right for the football Should club. We on the phone to him the other day. Yeah, I was on the phone to him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he, Greta was trying to do what's right for the club. Yeah. He, uh, I think he's at, he's at Tottenham now. Was he? He's he at Leeds. Leeds. Yeah. So anyway, he was he he was just trying to do what was right for the football club at the yeah. time to to balance well, things so like as you as a player you were thinking well i know you can pay that so why don't you just pay me that yeah and i think he's thinking well if i pay him that i've got to pay him that him that yeah but it, i think it... yeah and i think at the time he was just thinking, thinking that it was a uh, you know i was on this do you know what i mean yeah to go to that yeah the, 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 i don't know i don't i don't know what it was but it just didn't work and i was gutted i was absolutely gutted because you know, probably if I stayed on that contract, I'd probably be there now. Still, probably maybe. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because you'd be looking at into a probably eight years 
had a club by that time yeah. of signing a new three year contract. And, and you're thinking, well, I wanted to stay. I might yeah, as well yeah. stay two more years and do testimony a, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it was yeah. like, so it was a really tough one for me at that time. I kind of was like 50, I was always on the edge. And yeah. Everyone asked me why. And and we, we I left on great terms with a football club. They're close. Like, great really club, innit? Amazing great club, great club. people yeah. from top to bottom. Great club. And then, um, you know, that was that was a t real tough one for yeah. me, that one. And, and, and Uwe was there as well. Great manager, looked after me. So it was a real tough one for me. I was sort of like... Who was the Rotherham manager at the time? Uh, Paul Warren. Right, Paul okay. Warren. So um, it was his first job as well. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, good club. I Used suppose looking back now, you've... I did what I did, I did what I aimed to do. Right. You got to get, I got yeah, promoted yeah. to the yeah. championship again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, at the time of Fleetwood, did I not think that we could have gone? I don't know. If yeah. if Uwe maybe got more uh, a Back budget in. himself, yeah. then maybe he could have. You know what I mean? It's all maybes, but... Yeah, so I got... Did you get promoted in that first season? First season, yeah. We were... We, it was a funny season because... we went, I went there. He, his was a hard pre-season as well. Him and his... Put one, he was... Because he likes his running. He he got there. He, I got there and there. By, I think, no... November time we were 16th you know what I mean in the league so yeah it was, it done well it, to get promoted from there <laughs> yeah so Kiefer Moore like well I'd been I'd had an hamstring problem after pre-season and we'd sort of like been in uh, Prox was there Jane Proxer so we'd sort of gone big with a Kiefer Moore and Prox yeah and they were like what out wide crosses do you know what I mean and it, we, it just wasn't working you know like we, we, we were we're in games but we weren't winning games and then, so sort of like, there was a pressure of me coming because I come on, you know, I come in at the time to sort of come into the squad. It was getting a bit of that. Um, and Richie Richie Barker was there. He was class as he was class Richie Barker. Um, so it was, I, I was wanting to do so well as well. You know what I mean? Because I come in done well yeah. the season before, and the Kiefer were just flying. We anyway, we came, we we got to November time. 18th sort of in the league Kiefer were flying Score, I think he scored like 10 goals by like um, December so he was going they, he was on loan from Ipswich so we knew he was going back you know what I mean I'd been in the team with Kiefer we played, I, I started to hit some form do you know what I mean yeah um, Kiefer Kiefer went and then it was like sort of like put the bangle back on me to get the goals you know what I mean um, and uh we played it like I'd I'd gone through a bit of a patch before that, not scoring a few goals, and I got a couple at Blackpool, like um, like Warney, like Warney was we was under a bit of pressure at the time, and luckily like got we'd not won for a while. We've gone nine, eight, ten games without a win. How and did you get to the playoffs? It's mental, honestly. It's mental. Well, if you it. look at the run, if you look at the run, and we so you're one nil down against Blackpool as well, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, last last fifteen, I've. I've scored me, me because I'd, I'd scored one before that at Wigan against Wigan, like good goal, and I'm coming back into the team at this time, and I've got and I scored two in the last like five minutes or so, won the game, first point, first win, changed changed us, you know, like we went back to winning, so I got a bit of confidence back because you know it's like this losing, yeah, lose, winning's a habit, so losing can become a habit if you don't if you until you get that win, you know what I mean? Uh, we got the win and. I think like that he was under pressure actually at one at the time to go. So after the game we had a hug and you know, like said like fucking like, thank you, you know what I mean? You know, you've, you've saved my job. Basically. Pretty much like, not 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 it not say saying that, it, but insinuating yeah, yeah. and and, yeah. and like Warner was a good guy, he was always like uh, great with my family and you know, always warm and he was he would looked after you. That's one more thing I would say he's one of the best man managers I've had in terms of looking after you. Around the place and always asking how you are. Yeah, nice to do that for him then, isn't it? Score them. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, and I was so happy for him, you know, like because he, Richie, Hammy, him, top guys, and no, no one in the dressing room wanted them to go. You know, like yeah, they, everyone they, liked they, him. They, they, We needed to win for him, you know what yeah. I mean? So it was a, it was a great moment. We sort of changed our season around. Me and Jerry Yates, who's a good player. Yeah, yeah. Was he at now? Swansea is it? Swansea might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good player. Um, he came in as a young lad so I played up front with him for pretty much the, the next three or four months we just went two up top pressed the life out of teams 
I was scoring, scoring goals. We were winning, and we went on eighteen, nineteen games unbeaten from that period, and got us wow. to, got us to about I think it was fourth in League One at the time. And um, Smudge came in. Uh, um, Matt, uh, Matt Smith. No, um, Sheffield Wednesday. Smudge, uh, Michael Smith. Right. Yeah, he came in, and uh, so it was all good. He got another strike. He was he was playing well. Prop. Prox was, I think Prox was injured for that period of time because I think he'd done his his knee at the time and uh, got to Wembley, so we beat Scunthorpe to over two legs, got to Wembley, played in Wembley. Like, like, where's Scunthorpe? Had like Scunthorpe this year. Yeah, yeah. Complex like crazy. They were close to the champ. They they yeah. was they were. Uh, two you know two games away from the championship at that two time. Two games away from the. They were a tough team to play that then. It's only five years ago. No, no, six uh, years ago. Six years ago, yeah. yeah. Got them in Conference North. Not in Conference yeah. North. Mad, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. mad. So, Go on anyway, yes. Yeah, so when we played Shrewsbury in the final, um, I've missed the penalty in like 12 seconds, uh, 12 minutes, sorry. Ah, oh, did yeah, you? Yeah. At Wembley. At Wembley. Saved, yeah. oh, wow. saved, saved. Dean Henderson, it was. Um, he oh. was on loan from United at the time. So, should have been retaken, to be honest with you. Was he, off the nah, line? he was off the line and there was about 10 players next to me. It was, it was there. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't a thing back then. But yeah, and I've just picked us, you know, you pick it with where you go. You know what I mean? Good save. Good, uh, or bad penalty? Bad height. Bad height. Yeah. Good, like I've put a good enough in it. Yeah. But good save. You know yeah. what I mean? It's gone early, picked it. That's the thing. If he dives the other way, it looks a class penalty. It looks unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Try just that just, just thingy. Yeah. So. I was getting a, I was obviously getting a bit of stick at that time. Yeah. From the fans just in that point. But how do you feel after that? Do you know what? It was a weird, weird experience. You just sort of out of body experience, you just go away for a second and be like, wow. Cause you know in your head, you know what everyone's thinking or what do you know yeah. what I mean? And you're thinking, Are you, we lose today. It's my fault. It could be my fault. Yeah. And everyone no, will no, put it everyone your, will, it's your fault. Yeah, it's your <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely it's not your fault about it. But I'm thinking, yeah, it's my fault if we lose today. Yeah. Straight away I'm thinking, it's all on me if we lose today. Are you thinking, give me the ball again, I'll 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 Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Score, I would go, yeah, yeah. Give me a so, chance. Luckily I got the ball. I wanted to get on the ball straight away. And I'd done like this dribble in the box, got a shot off, like going past two or three players and got a shot off. And I was back in the game. I'd forgot about it totally. Um, and then from the corner, we get a corner and uh, Woody Woody sticks it in with his head. And it's like, you know, like, yeah. wow. So we won the look. Get into the second half, they scored this unbelievable free kick routine. You know, like one off the wall, round the corner, yeah. off the other score, finish bottom corner. Ugh. Great goal. And everyone's going, who the fuck's got him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was unbelievably well done. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> and... Um, You'll have to watch that game back in case they do it this season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So um, then, then Woody goes and scores an extra time. So I come off, I come off by 18th minute. Is that buggy now that you haven't scored at Wembley? Yeah, but I've got. It's weird. I've been promoted there twice. Yeah, got a man in a match there. So it's like I've had great memories. Right. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I don't really? like. It, it, so um, bug me that. Yeah, would it? Yeah, that would be so bug me. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's one of them you take the promotions, don't you? Move on, yeah. It's tough. 100%. What is a striker you want to, yeah? Yeah. Um, so come off Woody scores again. Edda, we, we we get promoted. Was, back um, to the championship. Back to the championship. Fantastic. Done exactly what the year before yeah. I, I said I need to go and do now. So I'm thinking, right, score. I think I scored 10, 10 goals that year. In a, I'd not played loads at the start, you know what I mean? But I'd have got a look good 20. 25 games under my belt throughout yeah. that period. I'm in the champ. And I'm in the champ, yeah, back. And then, uh, so like that, that's pre-season, that, that off-season, gone away with my missus and uh, kids and I've gone to, we're going to Dubai and um, we're at theme park and um, me, me, little, me little lad, I've got one in the pram, I'm pushing the pram, we've gone to like this theme park and in the, in the theme park, you, you, you sort of get dropped off by the taxi and then you get in there and it's like a, there's like Lego land over there and there's a few other, um, like there's a theme park here and a theme park there, but they have all them like little roads with the, but they're dead wide roads, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Wide roads and 
And then they have these little trains, that, these trains, they're like cars, but the trains, the long trains, you know, that carry all the people about. You might have seen them at yeah, like, yeah. a few places. Yeah. Probably Eaton Park or something like that, you <laughs> know what I mean? But they're like big, big unit things. Anyway, so at that time, you know, Pokemon Go was the thing, you know, with the kids. And um, my youngest, my, my oldest. found a Pikachu, hasn't he? My oldest is like, Dad, give me a phone, it's going to be good here for Pokemon, you know what I mean? So we're walking with Mrs. Talking, I'm pushing the pram. What do you mean it's going to be good for a Pokemon? So they had Pokemon Go where, do you remember Pokemon cards back in the day? Yeah. You got it on your phone where as you was walking around in real life, you might find like a Snorlax yeah. in the bush there. A what? Yeah, it was <laughs> mental. So you, you'd be in the room yeah, here. You, you yeah, see it on your phone. Yeah. So it'd, be, yeah, it'd yeah. be like in the corner of the room now. It'd be in that corner, but it looked like it's in the room. Right. So for kids, it was like unbelievable. Yeah. So, but, just but in location, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. So, I was, yeah, so this is something I do with him regular basis. But so he's like, We didn't do that, it must be good Pokemon here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And anyway, so I've given him walking along, just no one about, and like the, the roads are that big and stuff. I'm just like talking with the missus, and he stopped, he must have stopped. So, he stopped and gone down to because you go down to do that. Anyway, this this train things come up from the top, come round, come round and gone down, and just no way. took him up, took him straight over. Yeah, hit him, heard him scream, so turned. He's get he's under he, like he's under the front the front wheel, you know like yeah. The, the driver's not the driver doesn't can't see him, hasn't seen him with the impact or nothing because the, the funnel on the train. He's sat down low like this, and there's a funnel there. So for this hundred meters, he can't see him. Do you know what I mean? When he's dragging him, and he's dragging him now by his leg. He's, so my son's trying to get out. So I'm run, run over. I've like jumped into the train where I could get to it. He hit, 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 hit it like screaming, and he stopped. Luckily, he stopped, and me lads managed to get it not from going over him. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So he's like scooted out and got out, but then just looked at his leg and. Skin off his legs, the whole of his legs just took his whole skin off his leg, off the inside oh. of his leg. So, like, so yeah, like, just panic stations, you know what I mean? And just ran him straight into a thing. And he was in in the hospitals for the last, you know, like five or six days of the holiday trying to get him home and stuff like that. It was honestly, it was horrible. Um, so I didn't know at the time what we're doing, and do you know what I mean? And yeah, um, then he. I had to get him, obviously get him back home to see the doctors and that he was infected. He was getting dressing taken off. They were putting all, sort of, all sorts on his legs over there that was like, and then coming to take it off, but ripping his, peeling his skin back up, you know, like what the new skin. Yeah. So anyway, we didn't know the severity of it over there, what they've said, you know, and stuff like that. It was just, a, yeah, it was tough, mate. Um, so anyway, I spoke to the club, said, oh, I can't need, you know, I'm going back home, this has happened. I rang at like, the club and that. Got home, took him straight, got off the plane, took him straight to Older Hay in Liverpool, it's the Burns unit. Took him in. They looked at him, rushed him into theatre straight away because his leg was infected, but he should have been, it should have been cleaned and he should have had a skin graft straight away. Right. So like they had him in theatre, cleaned him all up. It was traumatic. It was honestly like, one of the worst things. Just, just, he, he he ended up like hating hospitals because of the way he was treated. For yeah. that. He was only six at the time. You know what I mean? Ended up hated hospitals because of what he went through. You know what I mean? But he, so we he ended up getting skin grafts off his off the back of of his off his bum and uh, your skin grafts so he couldn't walk for a long period of time and stuff like that. And you know. Like, it was just honestly like, one of the worst times. Football I mean, goes to the back of your head. Yeah, like, oh, I, yeah. I I forgot completely about everything about football. I won't do enough, you know. Like, I, you just want to be there for him, don't you? And, yeah, it was just it was just so I just couldn't believe it, and I was blame, I sort of blaming myself a little bit, um, which was you know like I think you do as a dad, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you're so protective and stuff like that. So I was. Uh, so and I knew that he was gonna have this scar. This scar, it's a big one for the rest of his life. Fair play to him; he's been like unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? 
No, as a lad, he's he's, he's great. He talks. Does it affect? Does no, it affect him at all? No, he's no, slamming he just... balls in the other day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Class. Yeah, but he he he's got a big, obviously got massive scar there, but he, he's great with it. Tells people. Got run over by a train. Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah. <laughs> so I just say, tell him you tackled the train. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he, he's um, no, he's been brilliant with it. Been been fantastic. He just can't get it in the sun too long. Yeah, for yeah. obvious reasons and, and stuff like that. But so how did that affect that? season then so i'd you... i'd genuinely for me it was probably the worst period of, of like two months of my life really um just because we've seen it me and my missus seen it as well you know like yeah. you see it horrible yeah. side yeah. Of that as yeah. well and hearing the screens and and it, yeah yeah it. yeah it was it was so tough i could talk about it very openly now yeah without getting upset but yeah. uh, and he, he didn't find his pokemon no, no, he didn't know. So he's, he's, uh, we, yeah, but we could, we could, we, we, it was a tough, it was a tough time for me and the, like the missus and that. I didn't do any, really any pre season from that period. I was going back a week later. So I was thinking, like, might get a bit of time, but they were like, come in, we wanted to come in. I'd lost probably four or five kilograms, really. It's a lot of weight for me. I'm not just through stress big, I'm not and worry and yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah. Um, and all going through all the stuff that we were going through anyway with him anyway because he was having to have like injections and steroid injections and oh. wrapping taken off and this doing yeah. it, you know what I mean all going through that so went back I remember just doing I remember we did the test it was a 1200 metres so you do the lactate test 1200 metres got in under the time got in under the time just under the time that they were all want I remember just falling over and getting upset like crying because I was thinking I've drained it like I can't yeah. even do this what am I doing here you know what I mean you feel guilty for being there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. I did at the time. I was thinking my family, my wife needs me as well. Like yeah. she was going through a lot of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Through, through it because it just affected us. Because we sort of, it wasn't our fault. It was the you know like yeah. And then we went through three years of like lawyer stuff and stuff like that. And it, it, because of the treatment in the hospitals over there. Uh, yeah, and and, and the because fact they couldn't see him. They couldn't see. He couldn't see him. So that the they they were supposed to be people. Ah, right. They were supposed to be yeah. markers, and they weren't there. They, he couldn't see him because the machinery he couldn't see a child. It was a theme yeah. park, you know what I mean? We went through all sorts of stuff. Even the even the driver admitted like I couldn't, you know, like it was just, it was crazy. Yeah. And it, things are done differently there, do you know what I mean? And it didn't. It, it, we ended up just fighting something for nothing in the end. And it didn't. It didn't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I would have been better off just the money I spent <laughs> giving it to him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's how bad it was. And we had that all deal for three years as well. So we, there was loads going on for him. So you have to put that behind you. But he was, uh, it went, so so got back in, did that test. I I was just not myself. Like I was tired all the time. I was, you know, like I wasn't sleeping. Coming into training, I was doing the drive over to Rotherham anyway. A couple of lads trying to, I was getting the lads to drive because I was sleeping. And like it was a tough time and we ended up doing, we did like, he got us to do like a, you know, talk. One, he was all big about family and stuff like that. So we did like things about our family, you know, like you had to bring like pictures of all your family and talk about them. To, do you know how like, to bring the group together? Yeah. I got up, did my mum, my dad, and everyone seen this, <laughs> seen my son. This was too close, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just cried in front of the whole group of lads. Just, just was, like, wrong that, Everyone looked. No, no, no. Yeah, it was, yeah. I, like, it's just me. Like I'm, I'm not yeah. gonna hide my emotions away from the lads, and they understood it. The lads were great. Like hugged me and just said clap me and sat me down you know what i mean they knew what i was going through at the time because you know i cut like you get close with yeah, a lot of lads yeah. and they were there for me at the time and and warney wanted me to go up and do it again i was like, I ain't doing it again like no chance that <laughs> what after you don't yeah. but 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 that was he was, trying, he was trying to think <laughs> yeah. he, i think he first thought that it would be good for me to get it done and yeah you know what i mean and be strong but i just couldn't i just was never in a place so yeah just training i was still training all right and uh at that point then like Portsmouth came in for me so it was a good good offer you know what I mean so they turned that down a club um and I wanted to stay there I thought no I've done well the season before really well I'm gonna go for it again you know what I mean um then we played uh Brentford on the first day of the season played in played in the pocket we lost 5-1 they absolutely popped us but I actually played all right I actually did all right got on the ball like you know, made a good made an example of me at half time saying, "Look, you got to show show a bit of balls, like get on the ball, like he's getting on the ball, third ball, 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like 15 minutes later, it subs me off and then, and then I was like, well, what, what, that's weird. And then two weeks later. So, he's, like, so he's bigged you up at half time. Yeah. Bigged yeah. you up saying everyone needs to get yeah. on the ball like, yeah, yeah. like you yeah, were yeah. doing. It was a t- yeah. And then dragged you. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I was like, it was just so thingy. And it was always thingy warning because I, li- I liked it. I liked him as a manager. He was a, he was a good, he was a, he was a good guy and he did a lot of good things. You know what I mean? So, but then he'd throw some spanner in the works. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think, whoa, that's a bit mad. So I'd got through pre-season with all this that had gone on. And I was just, I knew I wasn't like 100% myself still. You know what I mean? Yeah. I needed to physically get like, get back up to the speed. But I was doing, I, I was right. And then he, he left me out for two, three games. And then uh, he said, he pulls me in before the loan window. We're playing Wigan the next day. And he says, I want you to, to uh, you're not going to travel tomorrow, the squad. And I was like, what? So you're not going to be on the bench, like. Said, not, not even gonna be on the bench. No. Cheers. So I was like, "Wow, why?" And he was just like, "You know, going with the two big lads. I'm going with a big lad up front, and we're gonna just try to win percent. You know what I mean?" So like, okay, well, good luck. You know, good luck with that. Like, you know what I mean? And uh, secretly hoping they lose. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no it, it, so I just like too many. Like the lads were great there. Top yeah, bunch yeah. of lads. Like you got promoted with him as well the season before. Yeah. Like you're close. You felt like a almost like a family. It made it like really close knit group, and um, so I thought, oh my god, you've turned down Portsmouth. I'm out of the, you know, like I'm out of the thing. Turned down Portsmouth, and then yeah. You, and on the last, the, the, the last day of the loan window, last day of the loan, the loan window was the next day, right? And he said Charlton and Bradford are coming for you on loan. So I'm thinking, do you know, like with the pre with the, the pre season and everything with the accident and all that and everything that's gone on, I was just in this bad place. You know, I was like, I need to get away from here, like. Yeah, I need to go. Like I can't, I, I'm, sh- I can't stay with that. You know, like if I'm just gonna keep getting that when you, you know, technically they knew what I'd been going through, and I just felt like it was sort of like left me out. You know what I mean? Where they could have supported you a little bit more, a little period, yeah, yeah, and kept me around them, knowing what I'd gone through, yeah, yeah, and seen me. So it was a tough one to take, and I just took Bradford because it was close, a great club. Always enjoyed playing there. Massive fan fan base. You know what I mean? So I took took Bradford. And just said that yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and just score loads of goals. Uh, Did you? We, we finished we, we no I I ended up playing as like a number eight I scored I think I scored like seven seven goals but I was playing I played midfield for majority of the time because they just had a mixed. So year. Did you go there for the full year full season? It was pretty much yeah yeah pretty much it was like season. probably like six weeks of the the first block of the season I've done with Rotherham and then that yeah then the rest from there onwards and it was tough great club honestly I actually love playing there great fans a lot of pressure to win though in there 100% loads of pressure yeah. I didn't realise until I got there how, how much pressure was on there to win we had a great team we had like Jack Payne Sean Scannell um, Hope Bass Band, O'Brien Lewis O'Brien just yeah. come from Huddersfield with me Um. We had a we had a good team there. Owen Doyle who scored goals. Yeah, do you know what I mean? We had a really good team on on paper, and I was thinking these could go, these could go, these. Yeah. And anyway, it just didn't fit. The manager got sacked the day I got there. The guy who signed <laughs> me. So I was like, I didn't even meet the manager. <laughs> who signed? Uh, yeah, Michael then, Collins. Yeah, yeah, Michael He's Collins. Signed yeah, before you even arrived. Signed, uh, gone that night. Gone that day. So the day I signed and shook his hand, oh, he's brought like, ball in now. We're gonna have to get rid of him. He's, he's been making yeah, some yeah. bad decisions. He's decision. seen me after an hour and went, "No, oh, we've got no chance of it to get out out now." But he, yeah, he'd left and then um, David Opke came in. He, he had a style. He'd come from Scotland. He wanted to play a that style that didn't suit the lads that were there at the time. Um, then he got he he left. Uh, Gary Bowyer came in. It's probably too far gone for. Guy boy at the time to sort of thingy and we nice guy Gary isn't he? yeah yeah top guy yeah. yeah so like I just uh, and me and Lewis like at the time I picked up Lewis every day like he was a young lad come yeah. from Huddersfield picked him up every day he had some great great times still friends with him now still friends just been on his stag do actually and done great hasn't he done fantastic done yeah I, I knew he was a good player when I played with him but I just took him under the wing because I knew like the environment I've been in an environment before with Fleetwood where you know you know when you're in the relegation a little bit. So I said to him, like, look, I've been in this before. What we're going to do is just concentrate on what we can do, complement the team. Yeah. You know, what what are our good traits? What can we bring to the team? So that if, if we bring energy, bring, you know, try to push the team forward, tackle, 
you know, do all the right things yeah. that we can do. We'll, we can say we've given it everything. And that's what we did, to be fair. We actually have both had a good season, like, in a yeah. relegation. We actually, but I know as an older lad, that was going to be great for him. But for me, it was going to be a hard one. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, it, no matter how he, it, it, it was great for him because he would go back to his field and play. But for me, I was thinking I've just been in a relegation battle. Yeah. Got relegated. Top club. I've played midfield for most of the season. And people are just going to look at seven goals and that's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not a good return for someone like you who's just been promoted. You know what I mean? Yeah. But in the backside of that, that time, throughout that period of time, I've always been so strong with football, like keep everything going on football. But in the backside, I was like speaking to people, you know, about the, the trauma of what had gone on before that yeah i was i was like seeing someone for that for, for that for a long period of time do you know what i mean to get and over it, that it's, it's so hard to separate them yeah it's so hard to not be on a training pitch or be on yeah. in in and around the lads and not think about that it's no. so hard to and I was, separate yeah, and, I, and i was saying to myself how can i get promoted and done well with a team last year in the in the championship and i've been doing well and i'm in this relegation battle now yeah in league one again with a different team. team. I was a different team and I'm not actually signed to the club. And a couple more problems. Yeah. yeah. And, and then all the, all the things that are going back in, I was just in a bad bad place, you know, and it took it took me a while to actually see that I needed to, you know, like to get it out yeah. somehow. Well, the move away to where you are now must have... It well, came out of came... well, That must have helped your thought process in, in moving away. Massively. And getting out of England and just having a fresh so, start. That two-year period of the way it went and all the things that went on, I think my my wife as well probably the same. Yeah. Um, I looked at I was getting offers in League One and like I said before and and I just went. I could be doing this for the next four or five years, doing the same things. Scrap it because out. it will be like you know what I mean. So I just I wanted a change and then this offer came at the right time. Um, and I haven't looked back. It's been the best one of the best yeah. things I've ever done. Honestly, so come full circle, come back round. Nice. Yeah, one of the And you was modelling with me the other day. I know, yeah, so it's just it even better. Perfect, yeah. I, mean, I was buzzing, but buzzing when I turned up. Guess what we were modeling? Guess what we were modeling? I was with, I was with Zach Clough. I'm, Zach going, Clough well, I'm going to say Balaclava. Yeah. Shin pads. <laughs> <laughs> I was modelling yeah. t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had the shinnies. Uh, but, but no. Oh, mate, yeah, great. Oh, it's a great story, innit? Class. Great story. Belting. I say, be, and then. There's going to be a. Fat bald lad in Ratcliffe that's buzzing to hear this. Who? Bleakers. Oh, Bleakers, I love it. Gaz, I love it. Yeah, I've been yeah, asking me to get you on. He's years. a legend. He's a legend, Gaz. Yeah, yeah. So, hi, Gaz. Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. mate, it's been really good. Yeah, so, obviously, another year in uh, New Zealand left. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with everything. Thanks, mate. Mate, Thanks. it's been an absolute pleasure to listen to your story. No, I appreciate, appreciate you having me. Thank you very much. David Bolt. Thanks, fellas. Well, appreciate good, pal. it. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Thanks, lads.